Hello and welcome everybody, CWC Season 8 first games are starting tonight and we're gonna see Black Peter go against Tuville Montingi, two teams coming up from the French community battling each other in the group stage, we're gonna need to check them out, we're gonna see who's gonna snatch the first victory, there are three games going at the same time right now and we do have multiple streams open for you to watch, you can check them out on the civ6worldcup.com website and you're gonna see every everything over there uh, hello there uh, hi nick dave good morning sir and welcome bonsoir monsieur rafifi um bienvenue rodri good evening sir and welcome uh, i did also notice a coffin in the house hello hello there sir and welcome we do have big z good evening sir and uh, rafifi big mention he picked up that first promotion thank you thank you so much sir i do want to uh, uh, take a look at what's going on here and give you a bit of an information we're gonna have two more bands uh, pre the um, uh, phase in the game uh it looks like uh, the four uh, auto bands of the game were uh let me actually uh, put it up on the screen over here i'm also streaming um uh, for hush let me uh, yeah there we go autoband one it's cyrus uh, we do have uh, autoband two hungary looks like autoband three is gonna be scotland and then nader shah got taken down both purges by the same team got taken down I saw you online and like uh, took the first, yeah, clicked uh, like a boss over there on the first promotion. It is what it is, man. Uh, I do want to also take a look at what's going on in the map pool phase. We do have a choice between Pangea and Primordial. Uh, there were uh, two maps uh, that were also taken down for the first week. Uh, let me actually uh, check the news over here because, you know, you know, uh, a lot of information has been passed around. Uh, it looks like Highlands and Pangea Classic Ridges are not uh, going to be able for them to uh, pick and, uh, well, we we will have um, standard ridges Pangea picked up over here so it looks like we're gonna have quite a bit of a clash of civilizations <laughs> good morning design flow how are you doing sir good morning good morning and welcome let me actually uh, also turn up a little bit uh, the music over here we do need to uh, take a look how they're gonna go through the normal band phase and from now on we do have uh, the same uh, bands uh, being uh, promoted over here now I do uh, want to uh, also say that if you want to take a look at the pro player profiles and the team profiles you can can easily check them out on the CWC website. Uh, let me actually uh, put it up on the screen over here. Uh, both of them, so we get to uh, see them uh, side by side. Actually, you know what? I think it's better to just uh, uh, give them in uh, the chat over here, so you guys uh, can take a look at their player rosters, the full player rosters, and at the same time, of course, um, their details over there. We are starting to get quite a few details from the players. Uh, also, I do uh, want to point out, uh, looks like uh, in the active band phase, Sage on Korea got taken out first with uh, Cleopatra Ptolemy. Uh, we also have um, from one side, from uh, Black Petre, Distoria with Floppy Flongi, Mikado, and Expoli playing tonight for them. While on the other side, uh, on Tuvu, Montingi, we do have Ice Look, Milamber, Gamzu, and Apology. Now, there's also a bit of an update on uh, the CWC uh, game pages. Uh, we will start to introduce the point of views of the players also, so you guys can actually see um, the game, the same game from multiple points of view. Of course, if um, uh, the players will actually start streaming and this is uh, one of the incentives that uh, we are trying to uh, give to the players so they can actually start streaming and uh, 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 get their uh, content rolling uh, let me jam the window put up a prediction of how many purges today no purges zero purges they actually got taken down both of them auto banned in this um, uh, game uh, now each team every time a game is uh, started uh, have uh, two auto bands at the beginning of uh, the game pre-draft this is happening pre-draft and uh, we will need to see how this will uh, evolve um, how what kind of civilizations they're gonna get going uh, there's also i do have to uh, point out there's also quite a bit of um um how to say uh, work being done on uh, statistics we're gonna have uh, um, we're gonna have st trying. Uh, we're gonna try to gather all of the statistics of the games with, uh, of course, the reports that we're uh, getting from the players over there, and we're gonna try to uh, display them in uh, as easy uh, to read as uh, possible uh, format. Now you can imagine that is quite a bit of information going on over there, and I, oh my God, I gotta thank uh, Mama Leto for actually helping us with this. He's a genius when it comes to those uh, spreadsheets over there. Uh, also, uh, I do. I guess uh, we can put up a prediction really quickly over here for how many remaps let's actually choose the outcome for yesterday it was anywhere out of the world that did manage to win i totally forgot about this i was running 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 like a madman over there to actually get um 
um, how to say uh, to the CPL meeting. I'm so sorry for it yesterday, as in uh, I couldn't actually get um, uh, how to say uh, I couldn't get the post game chat going. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, anyway, five minds couldn't three four our new leaders. Yeah, we do have uh, Age of Steam uh, taken down. Looks like Mobande is also be gonna be taken down uh, with uh, Spain and Chandra Gupta coming up over here on the Pangea map. This is standard ridges, so um, we will see them uh, finding um, well alongside those mountains. You gotta take into account uh, there might not be uh, that uh, much of um, a way for them to go to their opponents, but still a lot of the times the players do try to pick uh, civilizations with uh, relatively early bonuses, classical medieval bonuses. <coughs> Even though we've seen uh, quite a few times uh, them being able to actually uh, balance this out as much as uh, they could. Uh, trying to get a civilization that actually has uh, simming bonuses alongside those war bonuses and uh, make the most out of it. Now it looks like uh, Distoria is going to set the tone of the game over here with Jayabarman the 7th. A Chimerian leader is going to be picked up and we will see those dome raids run around the map over there and trying to take down their opponents. While we do have the Prasas, we do have uh, of course uh, his holy sites giving him food and um, extra adjacency from the rivers it's mikado's pick that we know him yeah yeah mikado mikado over here we're gonna need to see i gotta say i mean i gotta say mikado has actually slowly transformed from one of those players that really likes to stay you know like somewhere in a corner uh, like with canada or uh, inca or uh, something like goal and uh, try to get the simming uh, done while now he's starting to do a bit more work we're going to need to see uh, how the things will evolve and of course uh, if he will manage if he will have the opportunity and manage to uh, take out his opponents over there now apology is uh, gonna pick a pound maker and looks like gamzu did uh, think a little bit about something else but then chose a shaka for his um uh, civilization uh floppy flown g is gonna have the fourth pick of the day here with um the second pick i would say from black petre uh, both of the teams uh, right now i gotta say, actually wait java on the seventh is not that big of a goal generator it can do a lot of faith it can have uh, quite a bit of production food and so on high pop cities but when it comes to gold generation well it's not really one of those civilizations so i'm expecting floppy flow here to try to make up for that uh, lack of gold generation with the civilization on the other side it looks like there's a good balance of uh, gold generation with between pound maker and shaka uh, we will see uh, those uh, trade routes of Pawn Maker. If uh, he does manage to get uh, quite a few camps and pastures in the capital, you can imagine. We've seen it multiple times how much gold a Pawn Maker can do. And now uh, we do need to see if um, the. Oh, Simon Bolivar. Oh, this feels like war, boys. Uh, also. <clears throat> Uh, Linda, hello there, ma'am. Uh, both versions were banned pre-draft because these players uh, know that Immortals are OP, despite claims that we've seen them defended. Yes, I have seen them defended. I will, will defend my claim over there. We have seen them being defended, not only by uh, Swordsman. We've actually seen them being defended even with horses. Uh, Defender of the Faith and uh, Victor City over there. The land helped out quite a bit, but man, oh man, that game, bro. Asticos just exploded. His brain was like... <laughs> God very big and they did manage to defend them um also who banned philip the uh, second band that was black pleated that banned philip the second you can actually see a tiny very tiny number over there in the top right part of uh, the stream also and i have a long running yes yes we do have a long running conversation about it so i do agree that um uh, now to say uh, the immortals are quite strong uh, but we have seen the other side also uh, and a lot of the times like with it i seen this happened with uh, keshex a lot of the times they were uh, actually a bit too powerful until actually the players did figure out hey look i can actually build uh, anti-cap units for them and boom it worked <laughs> you know like it's just a matter of time until uh, the players so all of the players will actually um figure out uh, the good way to defend them <coughs> Now we do have uh, also Rome coming up here in the seventh uh, ban. It uh, looks like uh, we do have uh, Catherine Magnificence. No, it's Lincoln actually. They made a bit of a, a mistake over here and uh, didn't choose Lincoln first. Well, Lincoln it is, and uh, we're not gonna see one of the Americas in. Um, also, we're gonna need to see. Well, he's uh, the first in the list, so he doesn't actually get picked over there. Two more bans to go, and we're gonna see the civilizations of the game. Let me actually also click on the screen over here so we can uh, get going with uh, as in i can write down the map type let's see pangea uh pangea standard 
ridges. Should I put it? Uh, it's it's gonna be so big. Ridges. Okay, Pangea standard ridges. Uh, that is so long. No, that is way too big. I'm gonna just gonna call it SR because you know, like that is, that is like. Um, you need. Uh, um, in my experience, you need the knights to counter an immor uh, immortal push if the player is close range and has pl plenty of iron. That's another discussion with plenty of iron. Um, a lot of the times. Um, and that could also be a nerf, by the way, for the Immortals. A lot of the times, the players don't actually prefer to go for uh, bronze working because, you know, like it uh, actually messes up their uh, discounts, their district discounts. And um, yeah, a lot of uh, iron is uh, the premium. And we've seen actually players uh, do quite a few uh, different other tactics over there. Magi Wazaro, hello there, sir. A senior tester calling it out. No, Macedon. Well, yeah, wait, wait, wait. We got four more choices. There might be a Macedon here at some point. You know, like let, let's wait and see what uh, they're gonna pick. Of course, uh, since this is um, the CWC, I'm pretty sure uh, the players will try to get their A game going and uh, when try to win every match. Um, we do have uh, Gorgo and uh, Mapuche taking down over here, and uh, yes, indeed, the, both or just both uh, uh, Nadersha and uh, Cyrus were banned. Nationalism played very often in competitive teamers. I imagine a Mongolia. I would love to see a Mongolia also. Now, we do have Milanberg going for Montezuma, getting that um, extra damage from his improved amenities uh, not to mention the eagle warrior bonuses uh, abilities to actually uh, take out his opponents with uh, or take out um, uh, builders from his uh, city states and uh, we do need to see if he's actually gonna get a triple continent split or quadruple continent split you never know with montezuma you roll the dice and whatever the game gives you you gotta play it now they will have a remap token the remap uh, timer has been changed to 10 10 instead of 10 uh, 8 and uh, we will need to see if the players will actually um, get, uh, I should say, better choices with 10-10. Uh, uh, we do have uh, Mikado coming up with uh, Japan also. Hojo Tokumun is uh, gonna appear over here to generate that gold for the team that does actually have Kumer on their side and Simon Bolivar. I, got, I do have to mention Simon Bolivar here a lot of the times is actually going for his um, uh, commercials at the beginning of the game, but it can actually do a lot of damage if it has... Um, um, close proximity to an opponent uh, those uh, units of his uh, from the beginning with the extra bonuses coming up from the commandant general it's, whoa whoa they're actually so powerful even those archers man getting those bonuses uh, we do need to see how XP is gonna have uh, the last remaining choice for TV whoa 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 this is actually sorry 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 this is a black Petre coming up over here with the last remaining choice while ice look is um, gonna get the choice for for TVMT. Now, now, I guess it does make sense they took out Gorgo and Mapuche, but still quite a few civilizations are uh, available and it looks like they will pick a similar Muhteshem. Muhteshem is uh, gonna be picked up over here. Suleiman Muhteshem. Suleiman. Well, okay, okay. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, written down in the chat for some reason. Well, they didn't find it. Uh, Japan was a solid choice. Yeah, I think Japan was definitely a solid choice. Now, uh, I guess we're going to need to see what's going to happen over here. If he's going to manage to uh, get uh, to work with his samurais against his opponents. Well, it is Pangea, so... Um Sea warfare might not actually be a possibility for him. Uh, of course, uh, getting the ability of the harbors, uh, getting... Um, uh, quite a few coastal settles. Uh, he's gonna be somewhere, somewhere on the map next to seas. Uh, we're gonna need to uh, check out his uh, spawn to actually make a few more comments about his uh, potential over there. Now, Ice Look does have a few more seconds. And Kublai Khan, Mongolia! Yes, the Mongolian leader with the Keshex, with the Ordos is coming in. It's coming in, guys. We will see Mongolia over here being picked up. Very, very nice. Very nice. Well, uh, we do have a uh, turn off of uh, the draft over here I, they did uh, switch spawn guaranteed looks like world is new or it's just classic on standard okay it's fine uh, let's uh, start to ready up i do want to check my uh, zero ms oh no i need to actually rejoin really quickly over here to fix the zero ms uh, give me just a second so i can uh, find uh, the link the link to the game uh, okay, this is the link to the game. Clicking on it, uh, open Steam. Oh my god, man, Discord, man, Discord We're making us uh, do one extra step over there. It is what it is. Uh, okay, 
so uh, yeah, I think uh, everything is ready. So we do have them actually switching slots over here so they can uh, get into the correct slots uh, with the higher priorities uh, given to the players that will need uh, to have higher priority in the great person's uh, screen and uh, the wonders. The story looks like he's gonna keep Jayavarm on the seventh. We do have Apology going for Shaka, Gamsu on Poundmaker, Mikado on Hojo, Tokimune. We got Milamber on uh, Montezuma, Floppy Flunchy on Suleiman, XP on uh, Simon Bolivar and Ice Look on Kublai Khan Mongolia. Yeah, also Circa Session. Good evening, sir. Is this uh, auto ban an official one or just decided? It is decided by the players, and that we do give them four more bands uh, per game. That means uh, two bands per uh, team over there. Bonjour, holds. Hello there, sir. Yes, I am having a very nice day. Actually, I gotta say this day was uh, quite full over there, and not only that, uh, I needed to actually finish all of the CWC stuff and so on in time with like mini announcements and so on and so forth, just uh, getting the administration part on. But there was um uh uh yeah okay uh, it's on and uh, balanced uh, wait uh yes it is capital only okay there we go cap only um uh, today was uh, the um, birthday of one of my long time friends like uh, we know we know each other for like 12 years old or something like that and um, he uh, wanted to uh, get us all together and have a little bit of uh, outside uh, you know moment and yeah yeah i wanted to get there i did leave early so i can uh, join the stream but i got to actually uh, uh, dry, um, how to say uh, move quite a bit uh, uh, in between uh, so i can uh, get there and get back home uh, and of course um, uh, get a little bit of talk uh, with him over there Ooh, happy birthday friend yes yes hell yeah let's go uh, man you know what I'm, I'm actually you know what i'm gonna do right i'm gonna actually uh get this going check this out uh if you want i mean if you want i'm gonna take a picture of chat and i'm gonna send it to him if you want um uh, if you want to uh, give him a happy birthday just uh write it right now and i'm gonna take a picture of it because why not this is a good moment you know this is a good moment uh let me see happy birthday thank you okay 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 there we go there we go there we go yeah 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 <laughs> thank you so much guys let me actually uh, send this picture to him and we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what he says over there uh, i hope uh, I, i'm pretty sure he's gonna like it let me see There we go. Okay, so uh, someone leveled up. Yes, somebody did level up. And to be honest, he's been playing uh, about leveling up. He's been playing Diablo 4 so, for like a week now. And he's like, like or two weeks. And since it was out. He, okay, so we do have uh, the game started over here. It looks like uh, XP, Grand Columbia, Mikado, Japan, Floppy Floji, Book Station, Pistoria, Khmer. On the right side, we do have uh, Gamzu on Kree. We do have Milamber on Montezuma. Apology on uh, Shaka and Ice Look on uh, Kublai Khan, China. Uh, Kublai Khan, Mongolia. So it's the dark uh, background over there the mongolian background is <laughs> and we uh, do need to see also how the players will um uh, get to spawn uh, they do have uh, two remap tokens available i did uh, run the vote over here in the chat so you guys uh, can uh, uh, predict correctly predict this one if you're going to correctly predict this one you're definitely going to get a lot of points it looked like a lot of you actually did go for uh, uh whoa did go for wow zero and one zero three percent one thirteen percent most of you 84 percent put into the uh two remaps uh option interesting anyway we did have also an update for the bcy the better city yields uh, mod uh, it does give two two instantly and when you actually settle uh, your capital even on flat land so that was actually quite a bit of a um i would say discussion over there between the players uh, like some of the uh, communities play with bcy on i would i should say more most of the communities play with bc1 on on the maximum settings uh the civil fire squad does not play it so we uh, ended up uh, with the um, in-between solution to make bcy actually give a 2-2 because the 3 one was a bit too much for the civil fire players and then other ones uh, did say that uh, they do need uh, some bonuses they wanted to play with bcy so this was the the um, in-between solution angor tom coming up here on the west side we do have uh, scout coming up in three looks like uh, the story is um 
uh, gonna get uh, his river of rivers to settle to the northeast. One more city to the south here. Remember, uh, Khmer does get bonuses from river to his holy sites, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to uh, put those uh, next to holy sites. I'm actually looking at this. He has two slots for his holy sites, one uh, on the horse, one in the southeast over here next to his iron. Um, the other tiles are actually uh, covered with forest and rainforest, which of course uh, take quite a bit of um, uh, time and the technologies to get there. Uh, looking at his also um, uh, possibilities, I'm pretty sure he's going to settle this uh, north uh, lake uh, network and we do have a few mountains so he can get some adjacency towards campuses but there's nothing like extreme over here in, in, interesting because this is standard ridges it should be a bit more we do have also floppy flongy on his e side and um they are allies so that's not going to be a problem they can even uh, set up coastal trade routes but and uh, they won't be um uh, they won't be bothered by any kind of uh, naval pressure because of course Mikado is on their team so it's going to be fine uh, settling all of this uh, coast over here uh, we do have also Istanbul coming up uh, with uh, his 2-2 base he does have a 3-2 banana and by the looks of it we do have a little chocolate hills over here to the east side oh, and that's uh, i'm pretty sure that's gonna be a second settle uh, muktesham does uh, really like to uh, stay in the golden age and this is gonna be a challenge for Fulpri from g to chain those golden just so he can get all of the points in also uh, you didn't get your points from yesterday yes you did yes you did i mean at least i did uh, finish up the, the predictions i'm pretty sure he gave them to us a few minutes ago when he said yes yes i actually yes i did um now we do uh, also see what's uh, going on over here uh, bananas uh, extra food we do have him uh, pumping out a scout in three turns and looks like uh, he's gonna have an array of mercury tiles that he could improve uh, this was another one of the changes uh, done by bbg on uh, extra food i would say on these uh, mercuries um, mercury tiles uh, we do have him with uh, an array of uh, gypsum and by the looks of it he's gonna have uh, quite a bit of distance to the southeast to settle he's kind of in a free sim situation because mongo um a grand Colombia is going to be on his east side past these mountains and uh, he does have a one tile choke to the east side that he just can easily plug in uh, plug a city over there and of course uh, put some units there now we do uh, have Zulu afterwards uh, which is going to try to get in at some point in the game maybe with some uh, tunnels or we're going to see some artillery you know, or play oh, I mean there's so many strategies here uh, we do have Bogota coming up with uh, his 2-2 two -two base as well on the um, hill looks like he is going to get uh, Mount Everest to the south Oh my god, that is an easy choice to get to. Look at this style, man. A 226 style. Right next to the Bogotan capital. We're gonna see that second settle um getting there very very quickly he can improve the amber tile for a little bit of uh, production and that extra culture uh, and i'm pretty sure he's gonna be very happy getting a faster pantheon i'm very curious what kind of pantheon he's actually gonna choose to go for um ot1 uh, right uh, yes anywhere out of the world uh, uh, one yes uh Deleuze, good evening sir uh, okay hello there alexis Kemp. also good evening good evening sir with that wonder b2 it's amazing yes yes and he has a lot of stuff isn't standard ages a bit unbalanced the people who start near continent splits uh, get too many advantages already fishers and uh, i mean i mean uh, in one sense yes but there are quite a few continents on the map uh, we do have uh, right now actually let's see uh, how many continents uh, sorry this one uh, four continents on the map and of course uh, that's um, actually quite a few possibilities for him to actually get going oh triple continents split here for grand Colombia. Oh, quadruple he has all of the continents man in one city this is amazing um we do have uh, to take a look on uh, Ulundi also. We do have him with that 2 2 base. Uh, it looks like he's gonna get a lot of sheep tiles and uh, horses in the capital and in the other cities also. We do have him with a second settle possible on the tobacco tile to the southeast. While well, I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to put some cities on the west side to benefit from these mountains. Unfortunately, some amenities are sitting there, some uh, iron tiles, uh, reso strategic resources are settling, uh, setting there, and um, that's uh, gonna be a hard one to actually benefit from all. Of of the campus spots that he could place but this geothermal to the north does give me an idea of this uh, plus uh, four campus over here or the plus four on the horse tile i'm pretty sure he's gonna discover any actually uh, animal husbandry because he probably wants to improve these tiles here now uh, we do see um, also let's take a look over here on xanadu or is it xanadu this is always bugging me by the way some like some languages pronounce the x as an x um, and some languages pronounce the x as as a uh, sh and I'm like, wow, how do I do this now? You know, 
Um, you do like caps, uh, quartzers, uh, okay, and for uh, production, look at the campuses and holy sites adjacency due to standard ridges. I mean, yeah, that's that's great. That's one of the reasons they do want to play this. Uh, let's uh, see uh, Xanadu with his 2 2 base with a 3 2 fertile. Looks like he is going to have uh, his own uh, array of, uh, of um, um, how to say, of. Um, resources over here uh, i do have one more mention and i'm gonna actually uh, let this go um a lot of the like this is on the players right they do uh, choose the map beforehand they know when they get in what kind of bonuses they're gonna have what kind of land and quality they're gonna have so uh, if they choose to play on this i mean they choose to play on this they find a little bit more awkward other uh, maps like uh, for example continents and islands or um, archipelago or small continents and so on rather than these maps because yes you might not have uh, the same quality of land as uh, your opponent but you still have quite a bit of land to actually develop your cities on and the uh, civilizations do give you bonuses to a lot of uh, stuff that you uh, can actually uh, keep up with your opponents now also thandorius good evening sir and welcome Let's actually um, uh, take a look. Uh, settlers coming up into here from uh, Sanadu. Ice look is uh, gonna get this river to the north, where he is gonna discover Mount Rorema at some point. He does have uh, Japan to the northeast that he could uh, go against uh, in, at some moment. And I do see uh, past the mountains, he's going to have Gran Colombia to the northwest quite far away. And not actually an easy way for him to actually um, send those units. Even if he is preferring calves, I'm pretty sure it's uh, more in the reach of uh, Zulu than it is uh, in the reach of Mongolia. Uh, we do have also Tenochtitlan with one big continent. And look at that, man. He just stole the spawn. <laughs> like, Bog uh, imagine if Montezuma actually was instead of uh, Bogota this would have been amazing that would have been a bit more op um will you please label the teams yes ma'am i will a totally unrelated question how fast would you say the civil online community is growing is it big enough to develop platforms like the ones that exist for like csgo and whoa um so we're developing right now mostly without um, any kind of help from um um, the actual developer and I think uh, for this particular case it is developing at a decent speed we're acquiring about uh, 100 or 200 members in each or more in each community uh, per uh, per month so uh, yeah I, I would say it's actually developing quite nicely uh, if uh, we would have the developer uh, help us out or at least um, like 2k or something like that uh, higher up I'm pretty sure it will be much much faster much faster uh, because you do have uh, like you can change the UI of the game whenever a player gets into the game and that's what the CSGO did and uh, that's what Dota did whenever you're going to change the um, UI in the game and make this known to a lot of uh, other players uh, to all of the players including the single player one it just explodes it's like you know it's just gonna get big very quickly um now of course a lot of the rules have been made uh, in the communities we're learning a lot from uh, the players uh, we're learning a lot from uh, also um uh, how to say um, uh, doing the administration and what kind of bots were needed what kind of services would a multiplayer community need and i'm saying we're learning a lot from an administration point of view not actually any kind of dev point of view um uh jam the window i kind of disagree with that a little bit uh we do have uh, japan by the way on the coast i did forget to actually talk about this we do have him with a plus uh, one two three four five six seven uh, campus over here to the north of uh, kyoto he does have a small uh, peninsula to settle on and of course uh, second city next to these the uh, coco tiles not bad but he's gonna be forced to settle into mongolia's grasp and that might not be a good choice for him he's also gonna have um you know Milan Montezuma to the north and Crete to the northeast and zero it is we're gonna see this map being played out the players said you know what we can do this trust trust in us we can do this uh, also uh, Daniel, I'm uh, I'm in tech and uh, was wondering if it's worth investing my time to developing uh, something cool I mean it kind of depends on how much uh, time you want to invest into this I personally wanted to invest into this um, and I gotta say a lot of the times I mean it is for um, um, because I wanted to stream a lot and uh, this uh, I, I did see this opportunity to try to develop the community and it works it works do we need help yes a lot of help like there's so many things that could be improved across the board that um, at the moment we don't have enough um, 
Stafford enough knowledge to actually get going. Uh, I mean, vanilla game was terrible. Uh, so that, yeah, I guess vanilla game, yes. If you're talking about vanilla game, yes. But when you're talking about the community overall, I believe uh, we actually uh, got a lot of uh, things um, um, uh, changed in a, such a way that actually competitive uh, save can happen. And as you can see, it happened uh, for so many seasons. We got like 12 seasons for um, uh, CFR Squadrons, two seasons right now for CPL Premier, like the 11. 7th CCC, 8 uh, seasons, this is the season 8 of uh, the World Cup and so on, like so many things are happening. Um, we do um, uh, have, uh, I, I mean that's a question that I would actually have, uh, uh, how to say, uh, we need to talk on Discord about this, I have ideas, it's just a matter of uh, putting them into practice. So, uh, team labels, one by one, let's actually see, so first of all, I need to finish up the prediction. Choose outcome, zero remaps. Complete prediction, you got the points. Somebody got the points there. Big man, big man. And let's actually see uh, over here. Uh, left team, it's going to be uh, TVMT. No, okay, there we go. And uh, on the right side, we do have Black Petra. Uh, I understand this is uh, actually Black Clown or something like that. It means Black Clown. Uh, anyway, uh, in my opinion, the devs want to encourage a PvP. They would make changes themselves instead of leaving everything to the community. That also costs a lot of money and um, uh, they need to figure out a way to actually monetize the multiplayer community more than just uh, selling the game, which uh, I do have to point out. CSGO and Dota and Valorant and everybody else did manage to find a solution to that. So uh, again, a discussion that we can have on Discord. I am more than glad to actually um give uh, a few comparisons and of course so where we are like the time we are now versus uh, where we need to actually get um i did make actually multiple times uh, presentations for them emails for them i send uh, a lot of uh, stuff over there and i'm pretty sure they're also watching the games so if you guys um, keep uh, liking this i'm pretty sure at some point something's gonna budge over there now we do need to take a look at the Khmer uh coming up with um the holy side on the horses on his e side he does have a setter coming up in four turns and looks like uh, he's gonna have iron in the second ring of priya vr now that actually will make it uh, much easier to uh, acquire and improve uh, we do also see uh Khmer will probably want to uh, develop his series to the north i'm pretty sure he's gonna want a coastal city over here so he can get the trade routes going between him and ankara you can actually see ottomans immediately got a city on the coast and i'm pretty sure they're gonna uh, try to set up at some moment in time so they can uh, send those trade routes the grand bazaar of ottomans is incredible when it comes to uh, bonuses uh, towards um, trade routes uh, the grand bazaar did actually get changed it does give you one trade route capacity more than the um, uh, bank of course the bank doesn't give you and with more gold and so on from it so you can just explode with the number of uh, trade routes when you get to it of course uh, you do require banking for it and it is gonna take you a while now uh, broken hello there uh, rambling man good evening Sir, and uh, welcome, welcome. Um, also, uh, Rafifi, well, it's Emily who got the biggest part. Eh? Kick double, kick double. Wait, wait, what is do we have family in the house? I didn't see him. Did I miss something? I don't know, uh, honestly, I didn't see him. But anyway, hello, that uh, Emily, hello, uh, hello, hello. Oh, he got the points, he got the big chunk. Well, it is what it is, man. He got the points. Uh, looking at uh, the east side here, we do have Istanbul with uh, Ankara settled to the south. Looks like he is going to settle Chocolate Hills. I'm pretty sure he actually discovered it a little bit later than he should. And yeah, there we go. He's actually now seeing all of the tiles of uh, Chocolate Hills. So we do have him with a possible um, settle on the lake over here uh, to the south of Chocolate Hills. And I'm pretty sure he's uh, going to want to settle around here somewhere. Now, uh, buying out and working these 31 tiles is amazing for the early um, opportunities let me actually uh, fix something because i just realized um uh, something 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 uh okay there we go there we go there we go uh there we go um okay 
Uh, so, yeah, he's going to go for the flat tile. Looks like I'm actually curious if he's going to go the full nine yards for the 2-2 base there, being closer to the mountains and able to uh, get some campuses next to. Uh, I'm also certain that he's going to try to go commercials opening here. Floppy Flongi is going to get his mining done, and I do see he has a builder ready in Istanbul to actually get these mercury tiles improved. Has a horse tile in the second ring of Istanbul with an iron tile also in the first ring. Quite easy to improve there uh, because he does have the extra food from the bananas. He can easily work the amber tile without uh, any kind of slowdown in his population growth. Uh, the extra culture is going to help him uh, get to the higher civics. Uh, we do have uh, Gran Colombia coming up over here um, between the mountains with uh, that quadruple continent split because why not? Um, we do have uh, Settler also being pumped out of uh, Bogota here and he's starting to make his traders. He did settle Barinas right next to Mount Everest and we're probably going to see the first pantheon being chosen here extremely quickly. I'm actually curious he's working the 2 to 6 tile no no he's working the 2 1 1 3 tile interesting choice by the way to work less production but more culture here now it looks like xp is micromanaging his um uh, how to say uh, city tiles his work city tiles so he gets what he wants uh, we do have uh, to take a look also where he's gonna move this settler looks like to the north he's gonna try to get the um, position on uh, Zulu so he can actually try to get some uh, defense uh, done over here before Zulu can get any kind of army out we do have him also benefiting from truffles in the capital so he gets uh, extra points of gold there and I do see he does have uh, multiple tutus to work around his city center uh, we do need to see all also, if he's uh, gonna go in full internal here, or he's gonna try to uh, trade with Ottomans at some point in time, that's gonna be an information that we're gonna get uh, later on in the game. Uh, we do have him with a lot of um, the mountains here for his campuses. I do see he benefits from an iron tile in the northeastern quarter, and uh, two uh, tiles out, and I do see he has a horse tile to the west side, uh, which is gonna be three tiles out from the capital. Quite expensive to get, but he does make extra gold, so at least, you know, that balances out to that thing yeah uh, we do have uh, zulu coming up over here he is uh, gonna go for the setup next to the volcano or at least close by interesting choice by the way to go on the east side i wouldn't have thought that he's gonna go east side with this i mean i'm pretty sure i have the same thoughts about Wadukuza getting the advantages of extra faith from the beginning and uh, working a tobacco tile two faith per turn no necessary god king card uh, that actually helps you out quite a bit but honestly i thought he's gonna stay a little bit closer to the mountains so he can get over here to the west side or southwest and for example this one over here would be quite nice even on the geothermal it would have been quite nice uh, getting the extra benefits of uh, food over there uh, getting um, uh, some culture from those um, uh, improved or I should say they will, he will need to improve the marble tile later on and a lot of chops not to mention getting the positioning on uh, XPLY uh, it felt like that's a bit easier oh 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 Milamber got a builder he's actually attacking Mikado and it looks like he did manage to uh, take out one of his units and converted the builder out of it Mikado is in trouble we do have Japan trying to close this choke to the north with multiple units uh, warriors and slingers are coming out he did try to defend it with scouts and as you can see that didn't work out that well and there is also a Kree Okchitao um, uh, starting to get in there trying to get into the action and uh, as you can see the builder is getting back into his cities he's gonna have uh, the option to actually improve quite a few tiles with it free builder is always a good builder right religious idol seems uh, nice for muktesham yes it does multiple uh, mercury tiles one two three four five of them uh, six, no, actually six with the amber tile uh, six tiles that could be easily improved there and um, he's gonna get his uh, extra gold and extra faith uh, looking at uh, also zulu we do have him uh, putting down his ikandas he does benefit from horses in the capital two of these tiles are of, uh, available there uh, this volcano explosion and gave him a 3-3 tile to work in Ungum Dundun Lovu he needs to spend some gold and he's gonna get the, the uh, tiles worked uh, next to the volcano over here uh, that's uh, that gives him a 2 for one tile to get going from the beginning I mean to be honest that actually seems a little bit better than the southwest maybe the volcano exploding actually did uh, change his opinion about uh, where to settle we do have a triple Ikanda opening here something uh, that we uh, see default on uh, Zulu and we're going to need to see if he's actually going to go against an opponent or not 
we do have Alexandru with uh, three cities, one put on the coast over here, and I gotta say uh, that actually is kind of awkward, especially if uh, he is uh, gonna fight Japan uh, on the coast. Now, um, their opponents, they will fight each other, and we're gonna need to see if uh, Ice Luke is actually gonna manage to get the defense going here. Uh, it's a good thing that he did manage to improve his uh, turtles from an early stage. He did manage to get that extra amenity going. He does have a fertile also improved as a camp, and by the looks of it, he's pumping out the trader from the city capital now we're in the capital of the empire i guess uh, Keshker and it also settled to the north uh, kind of a big lack of production here he does have the food but then he's gonna need to um, jump um in the production screen with something and uh, maybe this builder should actually go and improve those horses that are sitting right next to Keshker needing to get the extra production points going. He also has uh, iron to the south over here uh, that can be developed between the mountains and I do see he's plugging in Pingala in the capital city with the Pantheon uh, one of the first Pantheons being chosen God of Craftsman. That's actually going to give him one extra point of production and faith on each of these improved uh, strategic resources. Now also Japan's only job is to make it uh, samurai caravels and escape with settlers yeah uh, well let's let's see let's see if uh, that's gonna happen japan over here getting more of these warriors is uh let's see let's see japan going for archery importance krasma ship in one he definitely needs a gogi uh, so he can get going with this this eagle warrior is so dangerous to the slinger and i gotta point out uh, mikado over here still has a lot of turns to actually get that uh, archery going and we might see a last move attack no 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 this uh, eagle warrior doesn't have any more movement uh, he will need to actually uh, wait until next turn's uh, mo moment to get that i'm very surprised about the positioning of fukuoka by the way um no fresh water for that city center i was expecting it to be on the coast to benefit from the coco tiles and everything else and um Yes, he's going to get some positioning on uh, Aztec. And yes, he can actually uh, get a granary to get and aqueduct the city later for the extra um, uh, housing. But it does feel like he's going to be in quite a um, low tempo mode from this city center uh, until later. We do have uh, Kyoto getting a campus. That plus seven campus is going to help him get the science. He needs to trade punches with uh, Milamber and uh, Gamsu, not to mention uh, Ice Look in the south. Uh, we do also see uh, Kyoto does benefit from um, an iron tile in the third ring or second ring from Fukuoka, and he doesn't have horses. I don't see... Oh, I see horses. Are, uh, the horses are actually in Shizuoka, where he is building another one of these plus three uh, campuses for the double slam there uh, uh, he's also going to benefit from half cost in camons which will help him uh, get a general at the moment uh, neither of them neither Aztec or um, Japan did go for a general we do need to see if that's going to happen a little bit later Mongolia is also trying to put some units in the southwest to deny Japan from settling over here I'm pretty sure Japan would require a uh, source one or some more units to actually uh, archers and so on to push back these Mongolian units and get the settle going um now that he settled Fukuoka in this uh, kind of position, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to, uh, he's gonna require the cattle settle uh, for the fourth city. Uh, there isn't any other option, by the way. He doesn't have anywhere to go, so he's gonna be forced to make this army and uh, go to the west side, push back the Mongolian units, uh, so he can get his extra cities going. Uh, we do have also um, uh, Aztec with three cities. Tenochtitlan actually did get uh, settled quite far away from Japan. Now he did put down uh, quite a few of these campuses. Some of them actually even with zero uh, adjacency as uh, Tenochtitlan does have zero we do have Tao on zero uh, so Chicago could get a uh, 2-1 at least uh, this is very surprising by the way zero adjacency campuses I'm curious if he's just gonna go and discount an encampment let me actually see uh uh uh, uh bronze working coming up in two turns yeah he's he wants to discount an encampment here interesting we do have uh, Moksha establishing in four turns I do see he actually has a big array of pastures one two three four five in the capital uh, with the horses also on the east side of Tenochtitlan. He does have iron in the third ring of Tenochtitlan, second ring of Teayo, and also second ring of Xochicalco. Well, I gotta say, I gotta mention, Milamber did actually get a builder there, so he can easily get it. He also knows where his iron is because Shaka, Shaka did go for bronze working. You saw those uh, Ikandas uh, being placed down. They can actually pin these uh, resources for their allies and uh, give them the extra information they need to work around that. 
Now, finally, magic to get this thing. Well, all MD, hello there, sir. Good evening, good evening. Now, with much pleasure, sir, and I do hope you're going to enjoy your time tonight with us. The Governor Plaza will be between Kublai Coast, the settled with close, uh, chose the defensive city over the Plus for Harbor. That tells me the whole T, the whole plan versus Japan. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's, uh, they're going to go. They're going to go against Japan over here, but it's going to take a while until Ice Luke actually gets his uh, Kishiks and the General. Yeah, we do have also Kree. Last one up. Oh. Oh. Look at the capital of Kree, guys. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five Pashers. He already improved two of them. He's getting two. Oh, my. Oh, my God. He can get more camps also. Oh, this capital, bro. This capital. He went for City Patient Goddess as a Pantheon. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for uh, also commercials there. Uh, has uh, two, four, six bonuses that he could get in the City of Mickey's if watching worked. He will uh, need to actually switch this tier tile to get all of those bonuses. These traders are already giving him the extra um, uh, food and the gold per each trader out sent to that city center. He's going to have Magnus internals there. Oh, yes. Who is going to get that Toa, though? That's a good question. Who's going to get that all um that's a very good question i first i actually well first and last we do need to put up the prediction for who will win on one side we do have pvmt on the other side black petre and the submission period coming up uh, for uh, 30 minutes let's go let's go um okay well, fantastic tour for Cree. yes this is incredible actually he's gonna have such a big tour if he places it somewhere over here in the middle he's gonna have so many amenities in all three of his early series we don't have one two three uh, wait this yeah one uh, one two three four yes yeah, so four five uh six seven eight nine ten eleven amenities eleven uh, uh, no actually even the tobacco right so twelve amenities oh my god he also has a wonder oops no hello to the north and i do see he's uh, gonna get some silver over there as amenities but it, this isn't that good of a city to actually place early on i'm pretty sure he's gonna want to actually settle to the southwest a little bit more he doesn't have the bad thing about this he doesn't have a lot of good cities other than uh, these coastals and of course uh, well he does need to fight japan we do have japan with the extra plus five on the coast that is going to be quite dangerous and we do need to see if japan's production is going to manage to keep up with uh, his opponent's units now we do have uh, japan coming up with archers i do see um, traders are also coming up from kyoto um, finally the granary is being built in fukuoka so he can get that extra housing going and we do have aztec uh, putting down the builder in fukuoka he didn't actually get to lock uh, in encampment or something like a district yet so he can easily go for an encampment or any other district uh, next i'm pretty sure he's gonna need to go that way because well his opponent is getting one and uh, i'm pretty sure mongolia over here will gonna have uh oh uh oh look at this guys a temple of artemis on the uranium tile this is the bomb the bomb of the game and i gotta say he doesn't have actually have a lot of uh, bonuses especially compared to kree but uh yeah they they did decide eyes look should go for it wow okay this is a bit surprising honestly this is very surprising um and we do need to take a look on the left side over here we got the river god is chosen by the story as a pantheon makes sense he's gonna get the extra amenity and the extra faith uh, generation in his adjacency on his holy sites uh, we do have uh, one point of housing also over there moksha establishing in priya vr magnus in the capital city he's going to go internals first i do see a third holy site coming up in hari haralaya and uh, looking at the great prophet screen over here we do have three great prophet points at 10 he's finishing up his shrines another holy site he's going to get uh, quite a few more points uh, to get to the great prophet with 10 27 it doesn't look like he's um gonna be that uh, late on uh, getting his um, the points going for the great prophet and i'm pretty sure he's gonna establish a religion before the end of the era now we do have him uh, we do have a hungary coming up at the moment with uh, multiple of these uh, mercury tiles improved he did go for god of war and plunder not going for religious idols and i gotta say god of war and plunder does kind of make sense he's gonna have a lot of commercials he's gonna want to get those trade routes going uh, and uh, getting extra uh, 
extra points for those merchants will give him the opportunity to recruit the three big ones Marco Polo, Zankian and uh, Ip Fadlan um, Venturi, hello there sir Japan can take the religious CS yes he can if he will get there with the boats uh, there's a you know there's always limited amount of production that you can use uh, at the beginning stage of the game and I guess all over the game you have to be careful extremely extremely be, uh, careful uh, how you're gonna use that pro those production points to get what you want of course uh, everything adds up right you build you need campuses for the stats you need um, the gold generation you need harbors for the points of animals uh, and the extra trade routes you need the uh, units to defend yourself and or attack uh, you need encampments for those uh, generals and so on and so forth so limited availability of production available always on each player uh, make, uh, choosing how to use that um, uh, throughout the game does make a difference a very big difference between the players um and i saw also good evening sir and welcome uh, let's actually see if a player gets eliminated earlier does that just mean it's uh, usually over for that team uh yes and no yes and no as in uh, i've seen um teams that did manage to win three versus four it kind of depended on uh, how they could get their sim going uh, how much uh, they could actually uh, make up for that loss of a player uh rambling man also making a comment here every time i hear Thor, Temple of Artemis, I think. What does the Maori you, you have to do with this? And I gotta say, I thought the same. I honestly thought the same at the beginning when I saw everybody on the chat saying, Thor this, Thor that, Thor this, Thor that. And I was like, bro, we don't have like Coupe in the game. What are you guys talking about? You know? Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Well, it looks like uh, we do have uh, some kind of emergency over here or floppy. Well, I, I really hope it's not a bad one, uh, you know. It is what it is. Sometimes uh, it happens and you can't uh, stop it. Sometimes it happens. Um, we do uh, need to take a look at uh, the other bonuses that we have over here. Initiation has chosen by Grand Columbia. This actually tells me he's going to want to be aggressive with units, even though we don't see that yet. Uh, we do have uh, Guayaquil coming up as the third city put to the north. And uh, I do see, of course, there's still an option for apology to get a city close to Gran Colombia. I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to poke the bear right now. You know, Gran Colombia is very, very dangerous at the beginning of the game. Even though the land he can use to defend himself, it's actually quite good. You know, quite good. Uh, we do have a motion establishing in two turns here in Olundi. We do have um, <laughs> Settler coming up in five turns. Uh, we'll do the level three turns for a builder. Uh, he's getting that campus, the plus four campus uh, in the north, and he did not actually discover animal husbandry so he can get uh, that down and now i'm pretty sure he's gonna try to go for the animal husbandry and start improving everything he did he did look at that the sheep tiles coming around here he did also discount the campus with the three candles uh, some dude was screaming for uh geos and ghosts uh, today in a game it took me four and a half hours to get what that means wait i mean what does that mean <laughs> sometimes you just uh, gotta take up i know right sometimes it happens you know like it 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 just takes you over the need uh, god of the sea oh really it actually means god of the sea okay I never heard that uh, acronym, to be honest. Uh, Fertility Rice chosen by Apology as a Pantheon. He's going to get the extra food from um, uh, these wheat tiles. And uh, if he does have some rice, again, extra food. Uh, he did get a free builder. And as, as you can see, he's actually starting to improve the land around his capital here with the free builder. He does have one, two, three tiles that he could easily get the extra production on. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be happy getting that going. Uh, we do have also, okay, God of Classman here. Japan did, still didn't take his... Uh, um, Pantheon and I do see uh, Japan did manage to get two bronze working right now he's gonna have the choice to actually put down one of those encampments and I'm very curious where is he gonna choose to put it in the north over here or somewhere more defensive in the southwest actually he's gonna put one from Kyoto one turning it remember Japan does have ha uh, the ability to get these half cost uh, so very very good very very nice um give me a second I see message I look at message uh okay oh kick okay 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 okay
Okay, so uh, we did get the game unpaused and uh, we do still need to see uh, all of the um, bonuses here, commercial hubs coming up from uh, Mr. Hisipik and uh, Makfa Sakahi Khan. Mikisi Boachi still didn't put a district a commercial down. He does have four population over here. He has another district slot he didn't choose to go for. He did manage to get the campus going and uh, I do also have to point out games of the moment is 11 science with a 10 culture but then look at Xplit go already 19 and 14. He did choose to go for uh, Moksha in the capital city and uh, placed uh, quite a few of these campuses going he already has plus fours there uh, plus uh, four over here and a uh, plus uh, two the, yeah plus two next to guayaquil uh, initiation is being his patio and he, every time he's gonna pump out of unit he is gonna get some uh, faith uh, from its uh, percentage production now we do need to see if he's actually gonna want to go on a war a maneuver over here against um, Zulu I, I do have to point out Zulu is not one of those nations that is very uh, easy to defend with at the beginning of the game it, it, if it does manage to get to the core ability if it does manage to get to um, uh, impedes and so on yes that's when it gets dangerous before that moment not that uh, uh, easy to actually uh, not that hard to actually push uh, Zulu now uh, we do have also uh, markets uh, coming up from um Mukteshev, by the looks of it, Ottomans is the only one at the moment that's making these great general, great merchant points. He's on 6.9 points a turn. Uh, Zulu does have three great general points. We do have Aztec on 16. He did manage to finish a project while nobody else in the game is making those general points. This is uh, going to change immediately with Mikado getting his first in Camon down. Uh, Fukuoka still didn't place one. And by the looks of it, he's actually uh, looking at the south, uh, trying to push a little bit uh, this. Uh-oh. Uh oh oh Ice look, oh my god, Ice look is getting there. No, no, Ice look, no. Oh my god, he could have taken Shizuoka down. He wants to bump against the Kyoto. That's actually a 17 uh, uh, strength city. The garrison defense is uh, going to help him defend a little bit if he does manage to buy out one of these warriors. And let's take a look at the gold uh, availability. They don't have the gold to give to Mikado to get that going. He's trying to pump out the galley. And uh, let's actually take a look at his cards here. He does have maritime industries plugged in. So he's going to get that uh, half cost over here. But it's still going to take him two turns. The first one pumping out from Chizuoka is uh, getting out next and, and of course we do have another galley coming out from Cree. I do have to also mention Japan does get a plus five in these shallow water tiles and he is uh, gonna do quite a bit of damage against uh, these galleys of uh, Mongolia. And we do have uh, Ancestral Hall coming out from Xanadu and it looks like even if Toa got placed it never never actually got prioritized. I'm very curious uh, if uh, it's giving it to Cree over here because man Cree does have so many bonuses that he can get. We do have another um, campus coming up from Makfa Sakaki Khan. He just placed it. Never, uh, didn't actually finish his commercial either. Uh, this settler is going for the cattle settle on the 3-1 base. And I do see he's going to have an array of hills and uh, iron to improve there. We do have uh, Tenochtitlan going for the 4th and the 5th settler here from uh, those uh, two early series. He did manage to put his government plaza between the campuses. So he gets some more bonuses. This actually turned these uh, two campuses in plus twos. And he's getting the libraries in. That also means... Uh, he can oh he did manage to get Hypatia getting those projects in uh, did allow him to get the extra science points on each uh, library and a free library why not I mean you know that makes sense we do have a chop here for the encampment training project looks like um, uh, Zulu is uh, gonna get the first channel Aztec is gonna get the second one here uh, next time and uh, we do need to see if uh, Mikado is gonna manage to survive I think so I think so these are just not enough boats and I gotta say this was a bit of a I, I i would say he would have had more success so i'm, I'm i do want to throw a suggestion out here if he would have hit shizuoka uh like through the fog of war he wouldn't have actually given himself um um, given Japan a way out, he would have managed to take over and take out a city from Japan, crippling him for the remaining of the game. That would have been, I think, would have been a bit more valuable than actually attacking into uh, Kyoto and um, just damaging the city instead of taking it over. Even if he uh, attacks with the galleys and tries to um, uh, destroy them against the city's defenses, it's still not going to be enough uh, damage to totally take out the garrison health of uh, the city center. Uh, fair enough. Good evening, sir, and well. Welcome. A diplo win is always a thing, though. He is so far away. Yes, indeed. Uh, the story I will carry, probably. Uh, Ave Machiavelli calling it out already. BP will lose this game. That is quite 
Quite a prediction over there. I don't know, McAfee. I don't know. But hello there, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, it's what he has to know. He knows that it's from Ten One. Survive, kill CS on C, escape while running the best he can. Yes, Japan is rough indeed. Uh, can they buy a galley? No, he, they can't buy a galley. Uh, there are multiple galleys coming around from the east side, from Gabzu. Uh, two of them, and as you can see over here, he did manage to get that fourth city down. Now we do have the uh, galleys of uh, Mongolia actually getting a point of. Um, uh, promotions here and that's going to give them the emblem promotion with the plus seven uh with also in the classical era we will see uh, what's going to happen here with uh, the players uh, getting all of their golden age points and we did actually need to look at what's uh, the world looking like god of the four chosen as a pantheon for japan we do have uh, i think everybody did manage to get a pantheon no it was aztec that remained the last one okay so apology uh kublai Khan Mongolia, Penbrush and Voice uh, Golden Age, uh, 245 series. Uh, he's getting his commercials out. Uh, he's uh, also uh, finishing up uh, Ancestral Hall, and whenever he's pumping out cities, as you can see, settling them, uh, he's also getting uh, builders out um, you know, with each settle. We do have uh, Korakorum uh, getting a commercial hub in there. He doesn't actually go for harbors here. He's uh, not going to get his. Um, Admirals, and I'm pretty sure he's going to want to keep up the pressure against Japan so they can uh, keep him busy. Now, we do have uh, him also with 19 science points and 15 culture points, uh, choosing to go for that Pembrush and Voice. He's going to get the culture from each of these districts built and a little bit of gold, one point of gold. Shaka, Pembrush and Voice going for irrigation, four cities. He did manage to get the Shunsu as a general. Uh, might actually have the opportunity to get a second one if he wants to. I do see he is uh, getting one project in, and I'm pretty sure he has has a decent amount of uh, points per turn at least three of them because he did build three kandas uh, we do need to see if somebody like japan is gonna snatch it because yeah he was doing projects and um, he does have a builder he might actually go and chop it uh, next turn actually is, does it even matter if he chops it next turn let's see yeah zulu went down oh my god zulu is not making the project he's making the project next time in camon training project coming up he's gonna try to deny the generals from his uh, from uh, japan uh we do have uh Gabzu coming up also with a penbush and voice gold rich 13 science with 19 culture he's still setting up his empire getting a sestra hall here uh, which is again a bit of a surprise because he doesn't have a lot of that to settle and uh audience chamber would have given him this housing there's some good thing over here because he has the mickey wops he can actually get a lot of um um housing going with these uh unique improvements of his not to mention the extra food that you get from the resources uh around them or the extra gold depending on what kind of resources you have um we do have uh, also milamber 15 science with 28 culture on montezuma he, he did manage to get his own general and now he's uh, starting to push through the japanese defenses mikado is going to get his iron working next turn and he's going to get his own swordsman upgraded he is relying as much as possible on his allies gold and you can see floppy flongy or already on 36 gold at 10 x please 12 we do have uh, him also on 15 now the story already losing gold over here this is basically like you know default gameplay from uh, Khmer that's how it is that's how he rolls and that's why we were worried at the, uh, the beginning um Orval it's calling it out Mikado will manage this easily yeah I mean not one of those situations Mikado wants to find himself in but he's gonna need to uh, get uh, this going somehow and we're gonna need to see what kind of options uh, he's gonna pick to uh, remain alive here for uh, as long as possible Expli with a pen brush and voice uh, he does have 21 science with 21 culture still on three cities getting his fourth one to the west side here between the mountains interesting uh, choice but i guess you know it, it is what it is i thought he's gonna actually settle the oil tile over there so he can actually benefit from the amber and uh, oh oh i see he wants to leave a city to ottomans that's why he, wa uh, he wants to let ottomans settle the cattle tile that's why uh, this if he would have settled the um, oil well he couldn't have had an extra city there now we do have him with uh, the government plaza being set between the mountains giving him a serious amount of uh, bonuses towards his campuses and you do see he's getting his uh, fifth and sixth settler also on the way uh, one of them is getting trained one of them is uh, getting finished over here moving to the southeast on probably that stone time uh, we do have also floppy 24 science 30 culture benefiting from the beginning from a lot of commercials chocolate hills in the north um, uh, so a lot of commercials coming out from him his government 
situația de Asia Vancestral Hall and uh, we do see uh, more settlers coming up from uh, Sivas uh, while he's gonna get Ankara to build some settlers as well. He does have Moksha establishing there in Ankara which will give him uh, some extra points of uh, faith uh, uh, and um, of course culture for each population. We do have magnets internals already set up and he does have a coastal city which he will connect to the story as a uh, city center. Oh my god, the story I got a forest fire. And look at the look at the expansion from the story. He's like, oh, we're gonna get there, boys. We're gonna get there. Oh my god, man. Just the, the serious expansion of the Cumerian Empire. We do have uh, Mikado with 16 science and 20 in culture. He does have 13 gold, the 10, uh, starting to upgrade his um, swordsman. And you can see at the moment uh, he's not able to push through uh, the Aztec defense, but he can easily withstand the damage of the Aztec attacks. Aztec he does have zero luxury bonuses. Uh, he did not actually prioritize getting his luxuries improved. And uh, it will take him a while to actually get all of those uh, improved and, of course, uh, get more bonuses towards his units. In the meantime, Mikado did also manage to push back the Mongolian galleys. They are running scared uh, towards his uh, city center while he, I do see Ice Luke is getting some horses over there. So he can uh, try to push a little bit, poke Japan over here uh, so he can um, uh, keep Japan off his back uh, or at least pressure Japan enough. We do have uh, general here picked up by Japan. No general yet on Mongolia. And I, I think that was the fourth general, honestly. So Z uh, Zulu got two of them. Uh, one of them got recruited by um, no, Aztec and one of them by Japan. Thanks for the entertainment, Michael. Oh, oh thank you so much for the tier one sub. Much appreciated, Eric Coffin. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, we do have also Zankian being picked up over here by Ottomans and he's gonna get an extra trade out capacity. Yeah, it's happening. He has so many merchant points, man. He's already on 10.3 merchant points of turn. The next one uh, up there, it's Cree with only two merchant points. Oh, that's a big difference. Uh, we do have also the story coming up with 18 science, 26 culture, 61 faith a turn. On, uh, he just settled his fifth city while he does have one, two, three more uh, going on the west side over here. If he is, uh, oh my god, you see what he's doing? He's actually colonizing the coast. He is gonna get um, uh, Colosseum very quickly from Priya VR. Doesn't actually even need to chop this out, but if he does this, he might actually go and Smash the Cree cities on the other side of the world with uh, those cannibals. Oh, Gabsu is in trouble. Oh no, Gabsu might not see this happening because they don't know. They don't know what they don't know. They don't know about Khmer at all. They don't even know about where Mukhtesham lives. They don't see past the mountains over here to the west side. Maybe they see some loyalty, but they don't see the actual cities. And of course, how the land looks like, how... Um, uh, their opponents are getting everything done. I do have to mention, uh, we do need to see if Khmer is actually going to get harbors because that could be a dead giveaway. Uh, if he does get harbors, um, his uh, opponents will see this in the great person screen and immediately think, oh, wait, Khmer is coastal? Ah, I mean, I might need to get the navy, you know? I see Khmer, 800 points of uh, military. I might end an admiral. I might need to get the navy, you know? Uh, master class uh, before of uh, Colombia, uh, kick W. Uh, Colombia will uh, mess up uh, TVMT and the story with a uh, sim uh, backlane. That's my bet. Yeah, it seems like it's my, it might happen. Still good campus is a defensive position. Um, also, Ferno was making a comment here. It's fine. He doesn't uh, wait for Kree. He just needed to set up a double slam last move instead of uh, only one slam. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The, I think the galley push could have been approached a little bit differently, and I think this was one of those cases in which the player just uh, thought that he should actually slam as soon as possible instead of uh, doing it a little bit more tactically. And yes, it looks like he didn't pay off as much as he could, but it did delay Japan a little bit, forcing him to get a few galleys out of his own uh, before he got his swordsman out. So, well, that there's that, you know. Or instead of getting his um, fourth settler going, I'm pretty sure he would need another settler. I gotta say, he would definitely need another settler on the cattle tile. Or maybe even on this 2-2, because that's much easier to defend. This 2-1 uh, tile can uh, get a catapult on and fling some of those uh, stones uh, towards the Japanese defenses. 
Uh, we do have uh, this story over here on the west side with uh, religion. He did go for work ethic. Shrines and temples provide him the production equal to their intrinsic faith output. And this makes much, much sense. Lay ministry coming up for the faith and culture. He's going to get production. He's going to get faith and culture. And he's going to get the food from his holy site. So all in all, it does look like uh, Kumer is going to get a lot of bonuses going. He started chopping a lot of his uh, territory. And Gortom is actually about to be devoid of uh, any kind of... Uh, um, forest or rainforest here well he does need to improve those tiles because otherwise he's not going to get the production going he even chopped the silk he chopped the silk uh, he's trying to get colosseum as soon as possible he's he knows that he's going to have a lot of um uh how to say uh, a, a lot of uh, population and he needs every bit of amenities going uh, actually on that note let's actually see how many uh continents we have for each team uh okay so one two three i guess four <laughs> okay so four continents on one team with japan being on the green one okay four continents here on the other team we do have uh, zulu on two uh one four one big one for mongolia and the third one coming up over here or oh, fourth one actually on no this is the third one they don't have access to the red continent okay red continent is out of bounds over here for them so there is a bit of an advantage or there could be a bit of an advantage on black petre when it comes to just straight up amenity uh, diversity uh Khmer did get ancestral nutrition intense also bonsoir monsieur uh let's see yes he did yes he did ancestral hall and i do see he's pumping out the uh, harbors over here from angor Tom, from indrapura i do see uh, yasutarapura also getting a harbor out more cities are going to be settled here he has very good tiles on the coast again forest fires showing up uh, over here for him to give him some more uh, bonuses do have some bananas over there for the food whales in the coast uh, to get improved and get some extra amenities going i gotta say this is quite a bit of a potential here for a Khmer to explode in the next part of the game and uh gaps though i did notice is um getting his uh campuses going a plus three here to the north another plus three in the capital mr hisipik uh, didn't actually put down any kind of district here uh, oh no see he did get a commercial but he didn't get his um, uh, campus and this would be a question where is he gonna want to get that going he did also build ancestral hall getting his uh, traders going and i do have to say again the temple of artemis didn't get built by anybody it was put down by ice look and it looks like ice look is just gonna finish it this is so sad by the way that kree is not gonna get it this was so amazing for kree to get that going anyway he's gonna have so many bonuses from these traders sent to the city of miki siwachik it's not even funny now let's see when he's gonna pump out a trader from makfa saha he can and probably is gonna be sent to pikto kahana we in on the east side uh, to connect it to the capital here with a road and getting those extra points of food gold and production going for that city center i'm very curious uh, next turn when he's gonna um, get uh, the trader started if he, uh, how how much it will change the population growth and of course uh, his production capacity um, and not to mention the gold we should see the gold man uh, we do have already a uh, gap zone 40 gold at guys guys this guy is 40 gold a turn with internal trade routes. Can you imagine how much gold? I mean, sure, he has a plus 5 commercial, a plus 1 commercial, and plus 1 commercial. So that's like, what, 7 points? That's it, 7 points of gold coming from his commercials. Every little bit of uh, other gold is coming from... Wait, why did he send it to uh, Payak uh, Waskonam? Uh-oh. Wait, this is going to the capital, right? Why did he send it there? Did he forget? Oh no, Gabs, did you forget about the trader you already sent there? Or is he actually trying to build a road towards Aztec? Because I don't see the reason to actually build a road towards Aztec. Anyway, we do have Aztec choosing uh, open sky over here. And I do see multiple um, uh, tiles will give him that extra point of uh, culture. He, you know, We do have Aztec coming up here with uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, 19 science and 30 culture a turn. Uh, we do have him with a freshwater city next to that um, oasis, Teotihuacan. And I do see new builders coming around uh in the city state screen let's actually take a quick peek over here what's going on nalanda coming up here we do have anshan coming up here with science bonuses um the vatican city armor jerusalem nazca and candy oh my god this is Khmer heaven this is Khmer heaven he just needs to put a point one single envoy in each of these cities and oh he's gonna have so much faith uh, we do have um brussels also coming up for 
industry alongside Singapore. Mohenjo Daro is uh, coming up for the culture bonuses, one single city, and uh, Mogadishu with Kahokia will be the ones providing the um, trade bonuses. I do see Aztec did manage to recruit Ariabata also uh, in the scientist screen. Japan uh, getting this going soon. We do have Marco Polo as a merchant uh, coming up for Ottomans next, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's getting a project in, even though he does have a lot of points. You do, you do want to secure that as uh, soon as possible. Another uh, setter moving to the north of Sivas. Um, I do see he did settle at Derne uh, next to Quito and there we go. Now uh, the plan, their master plan is starting to be revealed. Uh, getting more of these commercials going and started up on the coastal trade routes towards Khmer. We do have uh, more settlers in production. He's using Marcos Licinius Crassus to um, acquire some of these tiles. And I do see um, he's getting some greeneries here in Istanbul so he can get the housing. Since he, since he did get for Ancestral Hall, well, now it's a requirement to get the greeneries going. Um, also, hello there, Project Sof. How are you doing, ma'am? Hello there. Um, we do need to take a look how Japan is faring over here. Looks like he did manage to plug the chokes. Uh, Milanberg can't push in. And uh, yes, his, uh, Mikado did not actually go crazy with the swordsman. Uh, he does have 22 gold, a 10 with 30 science and 29 culture. Actually making a bit more than Milanberg when it comes to the science. Even though, uh, didn't Mimi get... Uh, he did get uh, new... Uh, how to say... Um, uh, Hypatia, right? He did. Oh, yeah, the points are just on Mikado this time. Uh, he does benefit, both of them are benefiting from great generals. While, of course, we do need to see how Mongolia is going to try to play this out. Mongolia just um, finishing Temple of Artemis next turn. We will see him uh, get some extra amenities over there in the city center. He's now on zero no, and still on zero, actually. He doesn't get that. Well, he doesn't get to the plus three level yet. You only get uh, to see that one. You, you don't see the plus one, plus two, plus three. Now, he's going to need to... Uh, get something else for the extra amenities and this is why I was a bit uh, curious why, uh, temp of Temple of Artemis chosen for Mongolia yes you do get the food yes you do get the um, extra housing in the city of Xanadu uh, but you don't get a lot of amenities especially not even close to the Kree amenities that uh, Gabzo could have benefited from uh, we do have them in the tech side uh, coming up here with the recorded history recorded history feudalism coming up from Simon Bolivar Actually, I'm curious if uh, Gabzo is uh, gonna get his. Uh, did he get feudalism? He, oh, kick W, man. Uh, I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Uh, looking at the CWC games right now. Uh, very, very happy to uh, start these, uh, this tournament up again with uh, the Season 8 started up. We're going to see um, from now on every week a lot of games. Uh, we do have three of them uh, coming up on this weekend. And. Um, Actually, there are eight games in total being played out, but we don't have time. Uh, to, and I don't have time to actually get everything uh, uh, play, uh, streamed. No, I would wish. Oh man, I would wish. And of course, there are a limited amount of slots and so on that we need to uh, take a look at. Now, Anshan died, by the way. Anshan got killed by Grand Columbia. And look at this. Grand Columbia actually coming closer to Ice Look. Uh, this might be a bit of a problem for Ice Look, especially since he doesn't actually have defensive units. He probably saw Anshan taken down. And uh, as you can see, he does have a horse over there trying to scout out uh, what's going on to Grand Columbia. Uh, we do have a possibility for um, Anshan to create a trade route towards the capital city of Bogota. Now you do have Expli actually sending uh, quite a few uh, trade routes over here and uh, trying to build the, the road network so he can benefit from faster timings. Uh, Expli did manage to get a lot of science from an early stage. 45 science, 30 culture. Uh, that means, well, oh right, he did get a road as well. Oh my god, wait, this was, was this an Anshan trade route? I'm pretty sure it was an Anshan trade route, right? Oh my god, <laughs> fair enough, ninth point of over there, bro. Uh, very nice time with the CWC game after today's extensive work. I want nothing but lay down and watch something. I am here to please, guys. I am here to please. I want to uh, see uh, and I want to help as much as possible. Get that entertainment going. Now we do have um, multiple builders coming around from Grand Colombia. I do see he's getting his audience chamber out from Bogota. I would imagine he's actually going to wait for Corsas to get any kind of attack going against uh, Mongolia. And I do have to point out Mongolia is two turns out from C stirrups. While he is not pre-building uh, knights, as in getting some heavy chariots out, he will get the opportunity to get some Keshex when he actually opens up stirrups. Usually the players at this point in time, uh, the Mongolian players uh, did already have 
have like an encampment down do already uh, start to chop out quite a few of those uh, heavy chariots and try to get the upgrade points going there might be something happening in the economy that we don't see this preparation uh, we do have gaps on 52 gold a turn ice look is 31 we do have apology on 12 and then milanberry is only six gold a turn since he did open up with um, campuses and then followed up with a second big expansion phase and now his uh, commercials are lagging behind uh, he's probably gonna put quite a few of them down and yeah there we go we can actually start to see them uh, popping out in his cities uh, he was uh, trying to push a little bit uh, japan over here in the south so he can um, force japan to defend himself uh wait wait, wait. Oh, by the way, by the way, my friend is saying thank you, thank you, big thank you, and he's uh, sending uh, good lucks, good lucks to, uh, to me. So yeah, there we go, there we go. You made one, my friend happy. I'm so happy for him. Um, uh, very, very nice timing. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, I got that going. Yeah, uh, Mikado is uh, also gonna get to um, his. Um, uh, Samurai soon, and that will help him uh, defend against uh, Keshex. No problems. I'm pretty sure Ice Look uh, struggles with Grand Columbia just started. And as you can see, the Grand Commandant General appearing on the battlefield is helping out these horses uh, not only get the move but also uh, get that uh, going against his opponent over here with uh, the extra damage. Uh, I do want to uh, click on buttons here uh, because uh, somebody sent me another one. Uh, Oh my, I just uh, realized I actually made a mistake here, uh, but anyway, it, it's fine. Uh, then okay so uh, let's see uh, we do have uh, Gran Colombia only with four horses uh, going against his opponent I'm pretty sure uh, we're gonna see quite a few horses coming up from the Mongolian side and he's gonna manage to um, uh, stop this from happening yeah uh, then uh, he's gonna have uh, the opportunity to uh, get the river defense to work for him and he's gonna have the opportunity to chop more units uh, when we do need to see if uh, there are gonna be some pillages uh, coming up from Gran Colombia uh, so uh, well uh, Mongolia might be in, a tr in trouble. Uh, we do have uh, two, four, six, seven cities coming up for um, Gran Colombia with initiation rights. He's actually uh, pumping out quite a few of those. Um, uh, how would say faith points out of his uh, building of units as you can see he is prioritizing getting the horsemen done and i do see him getting castles in uh, three turns with um, military that's not military tactics uh, that's uh, what is it uh, military training coming up next turn uh, as a civic now we do have uh, keshex coming up in the production queues of full on batar i'm expecting keshex to also get this in camon finished i'm actually curious if he's gonna chop it uh, while uh, shana do it yeah there we go he chopped it out uh we do have all those uh, coming up next turn also we're also very close to the medieval era eight turns out we do need to see uh, how the players will evolve in the era square uh, i do also notice um, zulu is coming up with his audience chamber he chose another city for his government plants uh, not his capital uh, we do have uh, him finishing up pyramids here in the north and by the looks of it apology is trying to get his sim up uh, with uh, 22 science and 48 culture it doesn't look like it's uh, that big versus grand colombia he did choose to actually build a quite a few of those uh, barracks in his um, Ikanda so I see one I don't see any other uh, by the way this is something that Zulu benefits uh, from a lot by the way and, uh, let's see Ikanda right buildings in Ikanda do give you culture and gold as you can see two, cal two gold and one culture they also give you housing well no sorry uh, the, pro um, the, the Ikanda provides housing uh, so it's usually quite nice to actually couple that with a pen and voice and get as much culture as possible one uh, i am a, a bit surprised we don't see more of these coming and i'm a bit surprised about the science numbers since uh, we do have so many mountains over here on the west side uh, i think the biggest thing was he didn't actually settle this city to the southwest uh, that he would have benefited from the adjacency of uh, the geothermal uh, even though it was in the face of grand colombia i'm pretty sure he could have managed to defend himself with the rivers over here now uh, we do have uh, mikado actually upgrading more of the sorts one i do see new builders coming up from him and uh, looking at the tech side here uh, mikado is mathematics and feudalism in three he's gonna get very quickly that um, ability of upgrading his uh, swordsman into samurais 
Okay, so Grand Colombian units moving in. They're trying to get into the borders of Ulan Batar. Uh, we do have new horses uh, coming around here from Anchan, and uh, I do see a wave of horses are coming from the main cities. Uh, another three of those horses are uh, moving about uh, towards the city of Anchan. Uh, also, he's gonna feast on Colombia. Well, I guess we're gonna need to see if that uh, feast is gonna serve him well. Um, we do also notice uh, multiple cash checks coming out from the production queues. Uh, he did not get a general yet. He does need at least two projects to actually get this general while he's making only one great general point a turn. And I think he actually needs like three uh, three um, projects in. He definitely needs a pro uh, he definitely needs a general, but he also needs to defend himself against Grand Colombia while um, uh, X does have the extra movement is uh if he if this city is not gonna have uh, the extra carries on defense well four shots from horses might actually take it down double slamming over here we're gonna need to uh, check out if uh, ice look is gonna be on the buttons and uh, to save out ulan batar no cash is coming up next turn we do have a builder available for ulan batar to chop something and we do have victor establishing that city center in two turns also there's some pressure in the north uh, from uh, the grand colombian horses we do see that he did manage to get into the borders of uh, corabal gasun uh, where uh, he does actually get the opportunity to go for the coffee tile and the pillager uh Khmer man Khmer I think Khmer is actually gonna be the one dealing the death blow uh here to his opponents we do have uh industrial zones coming about here in the eel stat uh you, you see the story as production 150 points of production already uh he's uh not benefiting from a lot of trade routes only one trader uh, he does have a lot of uh, holy sites down with uh work ethic he's getting uh, those extra science points uh, extra production points over there and he's doing amazing when it comes to that uh we do oh my god one second you that yeah okay. uh, uh. Uh, we do have uh, an industrial zone coming up from Harihalaya. He did manage to get uh, Oracle in the city of Harihalaya where he does have Governor Pingala. I'm pretty sure he's starting to roll these uh, great writer points very quickly. Eight points a turn uh, while we do have him. Uh, let's actually see what does he have over there. Only a holy site and that's it. He's going to get the industrial zone in that city center which will actually uh, give him the extra points he needs for the engineers. The same thing is happening on Ottomans by the way. Now yes he's not going to have Oracle but he is is going to get his uh, industrial zones down and they do want to get the sim going uh, for the next part of the game already we do have two four six eight uh, nine cities coming up from ottomans while uh, on the opposing side on the opposing team we don't have actually more than seven or even less seven wait whoa 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 five six six seven yes it's actually Mo montezuma with a seventh city over here malinanko did get settled next, next to mount Roraima. and we do have him uh, jumping up in science a little bit uh, 33 science with 43 culture now pingala establishing in tayo he's gonna want those extra points in i do see entertainment comics uh, coming up from teotihuacan and since there are six more turns we do need to uh, take a look at the era score ice look is uh, uh, seven points out looks like um he did manage to chop that uh, Keshek in Ulan Batar and uh, did also manage to save that city center, but not the commercial from being pillaged. Uh, he's also not going to get uh, his coffee is saved over here. I'm pretty sure actually Grand Colombia needs to retreat his units and get them upgraded to Corsairs to be a bit more effective against the Colombian uh, forces. Now, Colombia is also trying to go into the bottom tree, so he gets his own uh, Corsair upgrades for these forces. He needs to get to castles. Now he's at engineering and uh, wait, is he going? Much? I guess he does want something but uh he probably wants machine why does he want machinery he already has uh Keshex. is this like uh anyway well it is what it is to be honest i would have thought he's just gonna click on castles and forget about it you don't actually need engineering for castles you can see there's like no line over here going to the top anyway now uh, and maybe printing he wants printing you know printing might be a good thing but printing is kind of far away with his uh science 32 science and 28 culture kurabalga soon getting hit when it's uh low in uh, defense so we don't have uh, the moment any kind of night uh coming out from mongolia's uh 
the series and then actually um, that doesn't increase the garrison defense uh, the mongolian keshiks are uh, actually ranged units so they don't decrease that they do have 35 milli strength but the uh, uh, horses are 36 so they're a little bit higher now uh, we do have uh, more armies coming up from aztec uh, he might actually try to go for um, uh, minute arms over here Man Bina Beris, uh, yeah there we go military uh, military yeah he's uh, he's done he just needs the gold and looking at the gold generation screen we do have a uh, Gabs on 83 gold, the third Milamber on 8, Apology on 17, and then Ice Luke on 27. On the other side, we do have actually Distoria pulling so many uh, harbors down. He did manage to get 46 gold on 10 with a Floppy Flongy on 70, Mikado on 11, and XP on 10. I do also want to point out, we do have him actually uh, p um, getting the chops on these May stars so he can actually get as uh, uh, much gold as possible. Uh, we do have... Um, more industrial zones coming up i do see he's uh, setting up his aqueducts uh, between his cities so he can get as much adjacency as possible to these industrial zones uh, we also need to take a look at his uh, era score 65 67 very quickly he's gonna get to that uh, golden age two more points and that's it and I, oh yeah he does have uh, boats going to the south singapore is gonna troll him building the ancient walls while he's getting attacked and well of course uh, Khmer is gonna need to put more effort into taking this down one dom will finish the job now uh, we do have ice look uh, six points out from getting golden we got apology six points out from getting golden on zulu gabzu is uh, quite far away he's uh, trying to get a few more commercials going uh, but i don't see things that can get him points and uh, as you can see over here he did manage to get a few more settlers uh, or i should say one more settler oh no two more settlers okay he has one over here and one coming up over here uh, he does need uh, 12 points to actually get to a golden age that's a bit too much uh, for what he has at the moment oh never mind he just got one more point okay 11 more points okay you know that's how you do it one point after one point after one point now the stats are really off no signs uh yeah yeah no science on uh, tvmt over here they're struggling they're struggling but i gotta say they have way more production uh except of course uh, compared to distoria or uh, floppy uh, than their opponents xp is only on 75 mikado is only on 32 uh well we're gonna need to see if mikado with his uh, 32 and his pre-builds is gonna manage to um no oh, korapal gasun got taken down x please managed to get this going against mongolia he's upgrading his courses now in his uh, using his opponent uh, city borders and he's gonna keep on uh, chewing through the ice look cities oh no it's happening guys oh well it is happening grand colombia showing up to the party with a few too many strong units over here Uh, the city of Mongolia has fallen, indeed. Bom dia, Bex, how are you doing? Also, Black Peter seems to have better assigned the role to players. The TVMT seems more disorganized on what everyone should do. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's one of the differences in the teams, and we've seen this uh, multiple times in uh, other teams and in uh, the competition as well. The, um, high performing teams do like to min max also their uh, uh, roles in the game, while, of course, uh, sometimes um, the new teams teams are struggling to get there they don't need to uh, get to the same level of uh, experience and so on and so forth but it's good that of course in this uh, particular situation they are uh, starting to uh, get the games going against uh, very powerful teams getting that experience knowing what to do next time is going to help them out quite a bit this is um, also going to be a double round robin i believe it's called um, we're going to have a best of two being played out in um, uh, the group stage between the teams um, in each of the groups so four teams per group uh, you can imagine we're gonna have seven plus one weeks um, the one week the plus one is of course uh, for the, any kind of um uh how do you call it oh my god any kind of ties that need to play be played out now we do have actually multiple cache coming about here from uh, ice look he is going to manage to do damage against these coursers and uh, yes uh, being uh, so heavy in number so numerous uh, he's actually going to get to uh, defend grand colombia's attack we do need to see if uh, xp here is going to get uh, any of these uh, units taken down before they start attacking it's very dangerous at this point with so many of these cache uh, coming about now uh, I'm fine. I'm fine, sir. You know, we're, we're uh, getting this going. 
Uh, it seems to me that this you know, game is already well underway. Yes, yes. And there uh, we do have uh, Carapos coming about here from uh, Gran Colombia. He, he is uh, 10 points away from getting his Golden Age. While it doesn't look like he's uh, going to get it, honestly. I don't actually... See, again, I don't see a lot of points uh, being generated. He might uh, get Monarchy. No, no. That's actually a bit too far away. Even with 40 culture return, it's a bit too far away. Allowing the um, gold generation. Uh, yeah, he's still in Oligarchy. Uh, uh, and uh, he is going to try to attack uh, Ulaanbaatar next. And I'm actually very curious if he's going to manage to do the moves here against Ulaanbaatar before this Keshek start to uh, take out his courses. And I gotta say this. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's going to take down Ulaanbaatar also. He's just going to sacrifice uh, the Corsairs and not care about the Keshex at all. Which is, by the looks of it, a good move over here. Uh, taking away another city from your opponent is going to be quite important. And boom! Ulaanbaatar goes down! Those Corsairs do manage to get the damage going against that city center without the wall. Even if it did benefit from Gran Victor inside of it, it wasn't enough. We do have um, Gran Colombia being hit by these uh, Keshex and uh, that was... Uh, uh, well, that was uh, quite a problem for uh, Ice Look. He remained on three series and he's going to have uh, such a problem to actually defend the upcoming attack from Gran Colombia, especially with this amount of uh, science on him. Uh, I do have to point out Ice Look is uh, also probably going to miss his Golden Age. We already have him uh, four points out and uh, we're two turns away from getting there. Apology two points out as well. Let's actually take a quick peek what he's doing. Getting uh, Theater Square Festivals in two turns. That's one turn too late. Improving some more of his tiles and I do see another setter coming from uh, Kualo Mendlini. Yeah, we do have him uh, okay with a few builders getting more barracks and I guess we're gonna need to wait. Did he get monarchy? No, not yet. Is anybody getting monarchy? As in, is anybody gonna boost it? Oh no, it's one turn too late. Oh no, it is what it is, man. One turn too late. Uh, oh no, he's gonna get an MP. Wait, does he have a uh, spearman? Why is he not making a Spearman? Or is he gonna buy, like straight up buy an MP? Because military uh, tactics is coming up next turn. So that's that's his remaining points right there. Uh, Gabzu is uh, six points away. And by the looks of it, he's trying to get some more campuses going. Wasn't this campus actually set like a million years ago? Like 30 turns ago or something? 20 turns ago? Uh, but he never actually finished it. He did get another city over here and started to put a few galleys in the water to defend against the Japanese galley. But he doesn't know about Khmer on the other side of the coast here. Now, we don't actually see Khmer getting a lot of boats out, but he did figure out uh, he can actually wrap around the south into his peninsula and get access to all of these seas. Uh, Kree does have uh, and will have actually three cities uh, deployed here. Okay, Milamber, 49 out of 52. Looks like Apology did manage to get 61, 59. It's fine. Expli is 10 points out, very far away from getting a Golden Age, but he is doing so much damage against Gran Colombia. I don't think it's ma it matters at the moment. Kept Ice look at the 36 uh, science with 27 culture. That is quite a problem. And we do have uh, Mikado also uh, at uh, 40 points out of 48. Uh, he needs 8 more points to actually get his Golden Age. And, well, he did still not get uh, his... Uh, Samurai. I don't think it matters though if he got or didn't get a Samurai. I do see he's getting galleys out and it looks like uh, he might actually want to push Mongolia with um, cartography, he, uh, with those uh, catapults. I do see uh, battles coming up in four turns from him, while this story is going to get it in four turns also. He does have mercenaries coming up uh, next turn and he does have the upgrade button on the uh, swordsman to actually upgrade into a Samurai. Well, he doesn't have the opportunity to stay in the Dark Age uh, uh, anymore and he might actually choose to just try, try his last uh, moves over here to get that golden going. Yeah, uh, Distoria already got his golden with 72 points out of 67. Um, Senior Testa also calling it out a GG. Well, they don't know what they don't know, man. And we gotta see if... Uh, oh! Uh, deployment of Grand Colombian Corsairs towards the city of uh, Kuala Mendlini. They're gonna need to fight these impies on the battlefield and it looks like uh, they missed the settler. Apology did manage to put it back. Uh, while we do have uh, quite a few Corsairs uh, getting their uh, hoofs on these uh, mine tiles uh, to pillage them. Very important to actually get that going. Let's take a look at this, okay. Oh, 
So, I see this story getting his stone hinge for the third um, thing over here. We're gonna have a pause, by the way, next turn uh, when we're gonna get into the World Congress. I do see um, these uh, Colombian courses are getting in, and uh, we do need to wait a, a bit uh, until they actually get their uh, bonuses going for the next golden. Uh, we can actually take a look uh, who did manage to get the golden age. Two players from each team did manage to get the golden age. Apology and Milamber on TVMT, and then we do have Floppy and Distoria on uh, Black P. Okay, that's not that big of a difference. Uh, we do have uh, multiple markets also coming out from Gab. So looking at the yield stamp here, we do have Gab's on 68 gold a turn, Milan on 24. Ice Look is on 17 and Apology is on 4 points a turn. Uh, looking at the science screen, yes, it does seem like a distoria, or I should say um, Black Peter does have an advantage when it comes to those points. While we do have uh, also the gold generation much bigger on their side. Floppy Flon G already 126 gold, distoria on 82. The fact that they could actually set up coastal trade routes here does matter quite a bit we do not have a lot of them but you can see the story is starting to uh, send those trade routes uh, on the coast while i'm pretty sure the floppy flon g uh, is uh, gonna start getting his um, banking going uh, we will see him uh, getting new uh, uh, traders soon and most of them will be sent to his um, ally here towards uh, the story we do have actually floppy right now military Oh, oh, I see, I see. He wants to discover a nighter over here. It's probably for the upcoming uh, boats of Distoria. He's three turns away cartography. While, uh, yeah, he's going to need to boost it for uh, Mikado also. We do have uh, Stonehenge coming up from Pia VR in three. Uh, we do have Indrapura getting a few more galleys. He does need to start to build up a navy if he actually wants to hit the timing against uh, Gamzu. I do think, actually, Gamzu is oblivious to the fact that uh, Distoria is um, uh, so close to him. Him on the coast he never actually uh, got to see the lands of past uh, ottomans or even past grand colombia for that matter uh, okay so let's uh, finish this with uh, batudu let me actually uh, vote uh, be over here digital uh batudu and then this one batudu uh okay hello sir uh digital you you i go b and we got the pause going in two minutes two minutes guys we're going back in two minutes Welcome back everybody and we're going to need to see how this is going to go. Wait, wait, whoa. Oh, wait, we're going to have five minutes pause over here. Oh, kick W, man. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to have a five minute pause. We got to see what's going to happen over here. Let me actually take a quick peek also on this.
Oh, you know what? This is a good time to actually take a look at their... Um, and let's see, let me actually put it up on the screen, on their profiles. Let's see what's uh, going on in their profiles. So, uh, Black Petre coming up uh, this time with uh, Distoria, Mikado, Alexis Kremp. We do have Frizil, uh, Treor de Chevre with uh, Floppy Flon G, Navig and Explic on their side. As you can see, um, uh, Distoria over here uh, does have 30 years old and he does like to play 1 versus 9. Now, he has uh, played in the three series and straight of uh, the CWC with uh, Black Petre. Well, actually, I'm curious if it, I think it is but i don't know exactly uh the current team is black peter but i think he actually uh, switched a few teams now mikado coming up also on black peter with two season under his belt um, we i do have to update the third one three season under his belt trash on all he doesn't like to play any save he's bad at all that's what he's saying over there uh, he does have a quote over here with James, but better, and he's 21 years old, coming up from France. Alexis Kremp, uh, he likes Jadwiga, Chandra Gupta, Menelik, while he's 23 years old. It's his second CWC after third place, coming back only to win this one. Well, they have big plans, big plans over here. Uh, Frizzle also uh, coming up here. We do have Basil, Aztec, and uh, Basil <laughs> uh, for him, 23 years old, and uh, his favorite court is what is Siv? That's uh, that's actually a good one. What is Siv? Chevre with uh, Wilhelmina, a one-trick pony over here. He likes Wilhelmina so much, uh, 22 years old, with, uh, I don't know what this is, Trunk uh, Darbra Main. Wait, uh, Darbra, doesn't it mean like, um, uh, how to say, um, three? It means three, right? Any any Frenchies in the house that can uh, actually get this going? Or should I put this uh, through a translator? Let me actually do this uh, quickly. Uh, ba -ba -ba, three trunk. Okay, three trunk. Uh, Floppy Flongi does like Spain. And Kublai Kanchana Uzetian. He is 27 years old. And uh, it looks like he is. Uh, he likes. He'll try to wake up for the final. Okay, I mean, hopefully he's going to wake up for the final over here. Uh, Navik, a goal before a nerf. He really liked it before the nerf of uh, those um, um, mines getting, uh, I would say, uh, culture bombs. Uh, three hand. Oh, 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 I see. I see. So not three trunk, but three hands. So like the, I would say, um, uh, I, I know in Romanian, in Romanian it's Ramur, but I don't know how to say it in English. Let me see. Branches? Wait, branches. It's branches, right? Uh, uh, let's see. Ramur. Pretty sure it's branches, but let me see. Uh, yeah, branch. Uh, the branches. Okay, got it. Uh, we do have him, uh, Priest Denise. Okay, he likes Priest Denise. Why not? Uh, he likes what he likes. 18 years of age. Explain coming up with 32 years of age. Mas he really likes Macedon. And yeah, I mean, this enjoyer. Why not? Of course, we're going to need to see if he's going to be uh, having that ability during this uh, tournament. On Tuve Montingi, we do have Bamaki with uh, Apology, Ice Look, Milanber with uh, Pipo, Gamzu, and Petit Pascal. Uh, looking at also what's going on over here. It looks like um, Kri Aztec Cyrus is going to be the uh, preferred choices to go for Bamaki. Uh, 35 years of age and he likes to be a team player. Makes sense. You know, you play in a team, you're a team player. Apology, Khmer with uh, Gorgo and King Shi. Looks like he did go out of his uh, way over here to go for um, um, Zulu in this game. 25 years of age, French player, mostly oriented on faith-based civilization. He definitely is not playing his favorites right here. I gotta say, he's definitely Definitely not playing his favorites. Um, we do have Ice Look also with Mapuche Australia and Zulu. Uh, this uh, might have been a better matchup, by the way. Uh, but anyway, at 28 uh, years of age, and he really likes horses. You can see, oh my god, he really likes horses. See, he made me actually write this uh, all over the place. Okay, a lot of horses over here on Ice Look. Milanber with Victoria, Rome, and Dido, 31 years of age, a French player mostly focused on naval warfare. Now he's in the middle of the land, he's not gonna get that opportunity this time. So, yeah, it's hard one, it's hard one for him. Uh, people, Maya Mubande, Russia, 26 years of age, player mostly focused on simming. He's not in the game right now. But yeah, we're gonna get to see him um, in the upcoming games. Uh, Gabzu also likes Canada, Cree, and Japan. 
it looks like he is playing his favorite civilization here with 29 years of age and he really likes to give him gold you gotta give him gold he also likes this by the way you, you see the orange over there yes that's the gold he thinks the orange is a gold and look at that look at that face man he's so happy when he gets the gold and we do have a uh, petit pascal also with 35 years of age my russia and vicky also congress player counting diplo favors well yeah we'll see if he's gonna get that going let's see is the game going on yes we do have the game man that was exactly on point man. on time over there you can actually take a look at that um uh i would say uh profiles yourself uh taking a look at the team pages on the civ6 worldcup.com website uh let's see xp coming up with um, quite a few of these uh courses still pillaging the lands of zulu zulu did manage to upgrade at least one minute time and he is gonna get his um uh mp courts soon to defend himself he does need to prepare uh, defense for ulundi's um uh, especially that uh, campus district because that's gonna get pillaged it's gonna slow down quite a bit the development of the empires of uh, tvmt and you can see how much damage xp is doing over here in this uh, matchup now we do have also uh, xp uh, getting pushed by these mongolian keshiks they are standing in the line two four six seven keshiks are out uh, to um, cause trouble over here for the grand colombian units we don't need to see if they're gonna manage to do anything because honestly i'm not that convinced they can be too shot by these uh, courses and this is quite a this is going to be quite a bit of a problem for uh, ice look if he's gonna start losing these units he is down to three series he doesn't have a lot of production centers up and yeah that's gonna be a big bad a boom uh, we do have a theocracy also uh losing a wildcard policy slot that is a targeted uh, event for Khmer uh, Suleiman Mukhtesham not growing via culture. Okay, they did win this one while Distoria is going to get the Diplo points going. Uh, I guess a big question is did he actually finish uh, Mahabori Temple or is he planning on building it? Because honestly, I don't see it anywhere. And I don't even see any like that many forests. Maybe in Angkor Wat he can get this one. You can see this uh, holy site over here Maybe he, and the forest next to it. Maybe he's keeping that one especially for... Uh, Mahabori Temple. Uh, he does have another center coming up from Priyavir to the southwest. He's going to get Stonehenge in two turns. He did not manage to uh, get the, the third and the fourth uh, belief going into his um, religion. Uh, we do have uh, more population coming out writers also getting recruited here i do have to point out he was the biggest one when it came to writer points he's still the biggest one with 10 points at 10 while the other ones are making one and two points respectively uh we do uh, also need to see on uh, their golden ages normal age over here apology did go for a second pen russian voice 41 science with 73 culture unfortunately getting pillaged in his campuses is not gonna be easy for his uh, science numbers is um well and these courses are trying to do as much damage as they can now we do have also milamber with a pen passion voice golden 70 and 64 he's actually keeping up uh, quite a bit ahead of uh, hojo tokimun while uh, he did not choose to upgrade his uh, many times yet it does look like uh, japan also did not actually want to upgrade his um uh, swordsman into the samurais i'm pretty sure before he gets uh if he doesn't get to fill cannons uh, he's not going to get to push this by the way if, like these samurais are going to be insanely strong when it comes to the defense uh, we do have uh, xp normal age floppy flongy pen brush and voice golden age with 81 science and 71 culture he is making the goal for his team over here with 196 gold a turn he's actually making more than the enemy team combined him and distoria are actually going to fund a lot of uh, boats over here on the west side which i do see they're getting built prepared over here for an offense again against the uh, Kree. We do have also the story with a pen brush and with a monumentality golden age. He's second one and looks like he's gonna finish up a Dana here. He's trying to get mausoleum at Halicarnassus. While I gotta point out he doesn't have that big of a fleet at the moment. He's kind of delaying uh, upgrading those uh, uh, caravels and trying to go against Kree. And I do see that actually gives the uh, Kree a bit more time to actually get his galleys down. Now Kree did not actually go for any kind of um, animals. It's only Khmer making 11 great animal points a turn, which will allow him to uh, choose through these uh, animals very very quickly and of course uh, get the correct ones for his boats uh, it means a thick hands and arms oh oh i see i see uh also take it this uh it doesn't mean much by the way uh, okay it doesn't mean much 
Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Okay, so uh, cash eggs over here coming about. Uh, two, four, six, seven still remaining. Uh, the Colombian army is retreating a little bit in the series of Anshan. Uh, we don't have new ones uh, coming about, but I do see crossbows uh, from Barinas. Uh, XP does have uh, the advantage of science, but he lost his gold range, and unfortunately, his uh, culture is quite low. 79 points of science, 29 points of uh, culture. 98 production versus uh, Ice Look 73 is um, also going to get a few more libraries gone. Oh, and look at this set. I mean, so many campuses on uh, adjacent tiles next to this um, government plaza. So he gets uh, the most out of this uh, land over here. He does have a plus 10 here, a plus uh, 10 over here, another plus 8 over here, and probably another plus 6 over here. Now, we do have him also with uh, Antonio Sucre, Jose de Sucre, actually, moving to the northeast. While I do see Kumer is building preserve next to Chocolate Hills. That makes sense. Uh, we also see um, a few carapos being deployed by Floppy Flongi to go and attack uh, Mohenjo Daro. The walls are down. There is a source board over there with a horse that can actually punch through the defenses when he's going to get that. There is a Japanese recruitment of the units of Nazca. Okay, I mean, Mikado just uh, maybe use that for um, Erasco rather than anything else. He could try to um, do some damage against Ottomans. I guess we're going to see if he's going to be successful. Now, Floppy did manage to get to 175 points of production, putting down the multiple industrial zones, and now we're starting to get, uh, well, I say putting down multiple industrial zones, but then I see he's making one point. He has one single industrial zone. He has a lot of traders being sent to the capital, though, with Magnus bonuses and uh, a lot of traders... Uh, sent to his uh, ally over here Distoria so he can get the goal going um, that Japan's uh, escape city that's Japan's escape city Mohenjo Daro oh yeah yeah oh right right oh they're from the same team oh my god I got confused yes you're right they're from the same team that's actually gonna happen he's escaping he is escaping uh oh I mean that's that's very bad that is very bad for their opponents the TVMT is in trouble if they don't manage to secure the kill faster. That's not going to happen. We do have actually caravels uh, upgraded here by Mikado. Uh, and uh, yes, he can actually take down a Korakorum. While yes, he can actually do quite a bit of damage against Kree. Uh, I'm pretty sure they also see the garrison defense here. I think he tried to mask it a little bit with uh, the Samurai. Because it's 48 strength and the garrison is 52 at the moment. Very, very close. Uh, these, um, how to say, these caravels are 55. Well, I'm pretty sure they know the difference. If they know, they know the difference between these two. Uh, let's actually take a quick peek over here uh, on what's going on on Kree's territory. Two, four, six, eight, nine cities coming up from him. Multiple campuses. He's trying to get that science going. Uh, Gabzu is on 86 science with 41 culture. 172 production. Pretty good when it comes to the production. He's pumping out boats. And he is... Oh, no. The story is just not ready for this. Like, we thought we are going to have the story over here with, like, at least seven boats with a, an admiral on them with um, a, a clumped up attack going against his opponent but no what he did was actually getting an admiral in the face of musomin that actually revealed his intentions uh it made gamzu pay attention to what he was doing and now yes we do have more boats coming around from uh, gamzu he clicked on that cartography button and he's two turns away from actually uh, getting a defense up well, this is a bit uh, sad though i gotta say this is a bit sad while in the long term i still favored uh, kumer to actually get the offense going and managing to get the kill on uh, his opponent or at least the cities on the coast of his opponent now uh, it's gonna be a mud fight from now on instead of a straight surgical strike against his opponent which is a bit uh, sad though uh, we do have uh, encampment training projects coming up from mongolia we do have uh, multiple cache still built by him uh, while uh, grand colombia is uh, trying to get a few spearmen out his uh, coursers need uh, to repair themselves you can see these uh, cache uh, did manage to do quite a bit of damage against them could that do like secure the kills but still did a lot of damage and uh to be honest these uh, catapults are kind of dead they're kind of dead he needed uh, stronger units to defend against this um yeah it is what it is 
Anyway, I guess uh, this is Ice Luke uh, trying to do as much damage as possible to uh, Grand Colombia. And he's, uh, he's, well, he's not taking city, but he's forcing uh, Grand Colombia to spend more production on the defense uh, than he actually wanted. Now, uh, we do also need to see Montezuma's development here, getting his industrial zones going. He does have an opportunity to get an aqueduct on that uh, industrial zone also. Uh, we do have him uh, getting a few more traders out. And uh, it does look like um, we're going to have to see. Oh, let's see. Kick W, bro. Uh, okay, so, uh, Granaries, Granaries, Granary from Gaps. Why is he building? Well, I guess he got uh, tired of making Mickey Wops over here. Now, we do have uh, him getting a few more markets out and uh, looking at the previously recruited. Let's actually take a look if uh, Muhteshem did manage to recruit all of those extra merchant points. Zankian, trade routes over there. Uh, Creed did manage to get Marco Polo for a free trader, and I believe the first one was actually recruited by uh, Muhteshem. Uh, and wait, no, Ifadlan. Where is Ifadlan? It's not here. Ooh, it's not here. It's the next one. No, it's the bank one. Next one. Did I miss it? Yeah, it's not here. Okay. Well, they got two of them. Two out of three. And we're going to need to see. Oh, no, it's here. It's here. It's Kree. So Kree did manage to get two uh, trainers, traders. Uh, Singapore also did manage to get defeated over here. That's the city from the south of um, Khmer. This story did take it over and now he can actually deploy these caravels to the west side where he could have actually earlier. Uh, we do have uh, caravels, only three caravels uh, showing up uh, to the Cree borders while there are quite a few caravels coming deployed by Japan. It looks like Japan is going to try to get this attack going instead of Khmer. Not bad actually for Mikado to try to do this against his opponent. Incredible that he managed to uh, get to uh, cartography there. Now uh, we do have uh, uh, Milanbera actually attacking into his uh, samurais with um, crossbows and yeah he's gonna get some uh, points of experience here not really uh, taking down the samurais altogether now we do need to see there we go more of them uh, show up to the front line so they can uh, switch between themselves these uh, swordsmen do die if they attack into the samurais they're just outmatched by that uh, strength now uh, we do have uh, Mikado okay oh wait Mikado doesn't have a jet an admiral right he has like uh, his uh, plus five against the boats of Kree, but he doesn't have an ammo. Well, neither does Gabzu. It's still a plus five against his opponent. And we do have uh, boats upgraded here by Gabzu in the score screen. You do notice uh, TVMT doesn't actually benefit from a lot of gold, nor does he have a lot of gold per turn, uh, nor do they have a lot of gold per turn. Gabzu is being given all of the gold they can spare uh, so they, uh, so he can upgrade these catapults as uh, soon as possible. He's also using the half-cost cards so to upgrade them faster. Uh, props to Japan. Don't think he would have... Uh, uh, have lasted this long even uh, got to caravels i know right i mean you know these players are quite experienced they're experienced when it comes to irl wording like this thing on three four cities and um uh, withstanding attacks from very very uh, good civilizations against them uh, they're very good at uh, closing down chokes predicting what their opponents are doing and um, uh, trying to get themselves an advantage as you can see they did plan this out well in advance so they can get um, some pressure on Cree. Uh, not to mention, uh, we did see uh, how Grand Colombia did hurt so much Mongolia. I gotta say, in the long term uh, projection of this game, Mongolia is uh, sitting duck over here while he does have Keshiks out that are gonna help him at this point of the game. Uh, when um, you know, we're gonna see Llaneros, Llaneros coming around from, um, um, from Grand Colombia, this dynamic is gonna totally change. Like the, the Keshiks are gonna be obsolete at that point. You need like 10 Keshiks or something like that to kill one single Rianero, that's just not going to be sustainable numbers for uh, for ice look and not only talking about the economy but even building them you know like you're going to get attacked by those Yaneros, you lose like five units and then you can only attack back and kill one and then you have no uh, no uh, control over uh, any other kill it's uh, unfortunate but it happens 
Now we do have uh, multiple actually courses coming about here. It looks like um, XP did finish up his uh, military tactics and I do see him going for diplomatic service in two turns. Uh, we will need to see how fast he's going to try to get to uh, Llaneros. He does benefit from 97 science and 32 culture and I'm pretty sure he's going to click on uh, Llaneros or the military science if you actually want to know the technology. He's also taking down quite a few Keshex here with the um, help of these courses. The level 2 courses do do enough damage against these Keshex to two shut them if they uh, get into um, the correct lands uh, we do have also Mila, Mimi Mimi getting an army out he can't push through the choke points towards Japan almost impossible to actually get through that without higher technology while he did manage to get to uh, 182 still not enough to push um, through this defense of samurais now we do have uh, the boats of Mikado starting to trade punches with the uh, Kree you can actually see Kree uh, putting his boats into um, no. A deep water uh, so they don't actually give the caravels of his opponents an next a free plus five uh, now well he's still gonna allow them to triple shot this Greek caravel is dead by the way this is dead so unfortunately when you fight like this you need to fight in a line if you uh, have corners anywhere with a possibility for your opponent to triple attack triple slam your boat uh, when you're weaker in uh, defense you're just gonna unfortunately well lose that boat and uh, that's how you usually push you need to not allow triple attacks against uh, your boats uh, force your opponent to double attack which is usually does help you actually get some promotions out um also ability to replace those boats with new ones we do have a wave of quadrims here that are going to be uh, switched, uh upgraded into um, uh, frigates i'm pretty sure the story uh, there we go going for squad uh, square rigging uh, we do have him uh, getting a new harbors out from singapore repairing that one with the lion horse is going to be a requirement and uh, he did manage to finish stonehenge here in the city of priya vr next turn he's going to finish mahabori temple he did get the first wave of diplo points on three out of 20 he's going to get five out of 20 with um Mahabori temple and you can see he actually has so much uh, culture that he can get to civil engineering quite quickly which will allow him to actually build the statue of liberty with uh, so much production on his side as well 338 points of production uh, this will allow him to um, build it uh, relatively quickly uh, let's actually see the dynamic over here that boat died and uh, it does look like uh, we do have uh, Mikado with uh, the opportunity to uh, attack him to another one Gabzu is trying to build a line but unfortunately he couldn't actually stop uh, this uh, caravel of Mikado to um, not get next to the city of Mr. Hisipic. You can actually see that uh, second boat taken down also. Now we do have uh, only a few caravels available in Bihto Hana Piwi in to get onto the front line there. And uh, well, front seas. How do you say this, by the way? How do you say, like you see the front line uh, between them uh, on, on the land, but there must be some like some terminology on the seas uh is it wait i think i i have something like this i don't know how to say it though i have i in my mind i do area of operations maybe is area of operations actually a thing i know it's um in uh, like the expanse you always see um you always hear the ao which is area of operations um but yeah that's more like space, right? I don't know if it actually uh, uh, means the same in boats. Does anybody know? Does anybody uh, serve with the Navy or something over here from the stream? Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, this story has been getting uh, some free walls over here. The theater of war. About it. Well, I guess theater of war also makes sense. But isn't that also land based? Uh, thank you, by the way, for the help over here. Isn't that also land based? Wait. How do you call? Check this out. I'm, I'm writing this in Google. How do you call uh, the front line on the ocean? Um. I don't think he knows. 
<laughs> Marine Lane from uh, Front Line. Oh, that's different. Oh, Gabs was going on the counter offensive here, and it looks like he did manage to take out one of the caravels of uh, Japan. Japan needs uh, a terminal, and unfortunately, he doesn't have one. Uh, he does have a new boat to take that place, and we do need to we do need to, him to fight as much as possible in uh, the shallow water tiles. Uh, you can actually see uh, the boats of Distoria very close to attacking um, the Cree boats from the east side. He sees what's going on and he just needs to get there. Now we do have uh, also, uh, there we go, some more boats getting in here. The caravels are getting smacked around. The Gabzo cannot pop the hills quickly enough. And uh, there is a Cedra coming up from Kyoto. Uh, they still didn't manage to actually secure him the city, right? Uh, oh my god, Mohenjo Taro. Mohenjo da Mohenjo Daro got taken by Floppy. He's not actually, whoa, he's not giving it to Nazca. Oh, I guess Japan got, um, I would say, let's see, Nazca, 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 Nazca. Uh, yeah, uh, he got contested here by apology. He got contested. They didn't want him to get the city there. Uh, we do have uh, campus research projects coming out from apology. That means uh, they're getting closer to Newton. And it looks like uh, Ibe Khaldun did get picked up by um, Aztec. Uh, tool. This is the happy scientist. Pretty good, actually. Uh, still not going to give him the extra amenity, though. Uh, we do have, uh, there we go, Ibe Khaldun over here. Ten he's going to put it in Tenochtitlan, where uh, I got to say he does have a plus three happiness level. Not bad. Now we do see him uh, not actually pushing some more against uh, Japan. These many times uh, cannot push through the Samurai line either. And uh, yes, he could have gotten some um, attacks with the crossbows. But unfortunately, the position of these uh, Samurais just doesn't give him that option. He should actually put one on the 2-2 forest. That, that could happen. If he puts it on the 2-2 forest, he can actually shoot the uh, Samurais. Just get some experience points there. Uh, okay, so uh, we do have Distoria pushing in. Pito Kahana Piwi in. Uh, that's actually going to stop uh, Kree from making a big navy over here. We do have the wave of frigates uh, getting ready in the cities of uh, Khmer. And uh, he, well, I say a wave, but it's like only five. And by the looks of it, he is is uh, two thirds away from getting square rigging with 88 science and 176 culture. He does also have 328 gold per turn between him and Floppy. This is incredible, man. Guys, guys, the story is in a monumentality golden age and he's making so much gold. Now he's uh, starting to spam out his campuses. We got uh, four of them actually put down from his series. He is starting to make them in bulk over here, I would say. We got some of uh, early moves are coming up from the Historia. They're managing to take out the Kree's broads, uh, taking out the Kree defense on the coast. Uh, the Kree is starting to get uh, some walls in his city so he can withstand this a little bit more. But man, he's going to lose these three cities on the east and he's going to remain with two, four, six. And that actually it lowers their chances of survival considerably. We do have Ice Luke actually getting a settler to the north. He knows uh, that he's not, not going to uh, be able to withstand the upcoming attack from Xplee. Simon Bolivar is um, coming up on uh, how do we call it siege tactics, which is the previous one before military science, the um, previous uh, technology before military science, getting very close to upgrading his uh, Llaneros. Now we do have also on Apology 84 Science and 85 Culture. Unfortunately, he's not growing as fast as he would want to, so he can keep up with his opponents, Floppy and Distoria. Now we do have uh, Floppy here uh, getting his wave of Grand Bazaars, putting out uh, new campuses for the extra science. And of course, when he's going to get his Grand Bazaars uh, plugged in with the new trader routes, uh, it's connected to his opponent. Oh my God, man. I'm, I'm predicting like thousands of gold point per turns over here from Floppy. If he does manage to get the form the coinage this is just gonna explode i mean he's they're already exploding each of them each of them like a floppy and the story each can are making more gold than the opposing team combined uh they could just trade up buy a settler for japan yeah mongolia lost another city wait Oh yeah, he did. He did to Japan. Yeah, he did. He did lose the coastal city. I mean, that was we knew that uh, he's gonna get attacked by Mikado. Looks like Mikado did actually um, get a lot of job done with only three cities. Three cities, and it was enough. He managed to do to get the job done.
Okay, you know, this is a statue of Zeus. It's gonna come out from Ulundi, giving him uh, some free units and, um, well, the ability to build those impies much faster. But uh, to be honest, those impies are starting to get out of their way. And we got a GG. Cold oh, out. First game is won ages. by Black Petre. They got the point on the board in it's their it's group. Wow. That was quite something. That was uh, so quick over here coming up from them. Let me actually uh, take a quick peek over here. We want group are they they are in a, a group d they are in group d so the first points of this tournament of the cwc season 8 is actually on black petre amazing win so many good plays over here coming up from uh, from them uh give me your channel points yes i saw yes 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 let's get the channel points done uh let me actually take a quick pick over here uh prediction we do have black peter whoa it was a 50 50 between them okay so tomorrow we're gonna have uh, another game let me actually uh, take a quick pick on uh, my schedule over here i do believe it's coc going against easy katka uh easy katka being a new team coming out from the cfcs uh, community it is gonna be at 1800 gmt a little bit earlier than this time uh we do uh, also need to um uh, hear the boys out and uh, see what they have to say in the post game chat uh, let me actually uh see if uh, they have uh how to call it uh, they have uh rights i need to uh, see if they have rights sometimes well we mess this up and they don't have right tv okay they should have rights uh, black peter and yeah both it's fine uh let's go in and we'll see what's going on uh time to switch to kachishka stream yeah yeah i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna send you there anyway um it's either kachishka or uh, trinda they're both uh, actually streaming right now different games though different games we got we got casters for all of the games during the weekend so you're gonna have a lot of content to watch over here hopefully you're gonna really enjoy the games this is the um, i think the highest quality games we have in the multiplayer community so have added have added um let me actually ask b brief one okay Et heureusement qu'elles étaient là oh ouais. putain Oh, GG well played, man. GG well GG, played. Mike. Who would have thought Mikado over there with three series will be the one taking <laughs> series away? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. oh man, how do you feel over there in the corner? Well. At the start, I'm not happy because, uh, you know, a lot of mountain. Yeah. But uh, I'm happy with mountain, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so hard for Montezuma to do anything yeah. against you. Like, impossible. Yeah, he, he can't uh, actually. He can do something. Yeah. Oh. You, you didn't see the lands of Khmer or uh, Ottomans. Uh, as far no, as it is. Uh, only, oh. We see only one city of uh, Ottoman, but that, that's it yeah oh my god they have like they exploded in the Khmer so uh the story I saw that he can just uh get as many cities out as possible and he has two four six eight ten twelve cities and then uh, i had like nine city turn 40. yeah <laughs> <laughs> ancestral whole gamer over here what can but, i say uh, only uh there was like five uh, white cs but uh, i did go only for free holy site since I had only one river, I did go arbor first on all other city. Yeah. For uh, housing. <laughs> I was wondering if you're gonna actually go for uh, harbors to uh, reveal yourself, because well, they didn't know where you are, so they didn't know if you're gonna go coastal I mean, or not. They can expect that I'm here, and Harbor is a really insane district on the coast. It gives you like um, habitation, yep. uh, more food on your fish, and also a trader. Yep. So, yeah, like, I, I'm playing Khmer and I'm doing 300 GPT turn 60. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that uh, that also helped you with uh, the coastal trade routes. Uh, Ottomans being yeah. next to you, coastally trading to you was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And why yeah, no knights sacrifice. on Mongolia? Why what? Why no knights on Mongolia? Because uh, I don't have enough uh, culture, so I don't have the cards to make uh, knights directly, and we don't have enough gold to to buy uh, EV Chariot and uh, up them. 
Okay. Uh, the 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 gold problem. That's yeah. The problem. Yeah. Yeah, I think we make literally two, two time your gold or three, so we can make plays. Uh, it's too hard for you, I think. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I can up uh, ten caravel. Uh, it's really insane. Like. Yeah, my stream is uh, curious if uh, there was a possibility for you to take Armag on Japan, the coastal city the, to the south. Yeah, uh, we we won't uh, take uh, city state with uh, Levy mm -hmm. on Nazca. Yeah. So yeah. if I take Armag, I can take uh, Nazca, you know, for uh, Moenjo. Yeah, okay. but I, I think Naval was going to be safe there. I would have uh, oh, yeah, get. Yeah. Uh, I, I have like frigate this turn and uh, oh, it's called the Wonder. Arsenal. Really yeah, I was going for Arsenal <laughs> and I had the two first in general with um, Mosolino. Yeah, anyway, anyway, the Naval is over actually, so it's... Yeah, but... Yeah, there was nobody else on the coast other than yeah. uh, Kree. Oh, 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 one big question. Why didn't Kree build Temple of Artemis? Yep. I don't okay. think he have... Uh... Caps doesn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, my question, personally. Oh, yes, no camp. Yes, I don't think he has any. Uh, oh, any chopped, deer. Uh, the... I think he chopped one. I think he chopped the deer. I, I don't forget. I don't remember if he had a deer tile, but oh my god, he has so many pastures. Yeah, in fact, I think you chopped a service that you're trying to deer. Yeah. Oh, he did have deer finished. next to Mister Hisipik. Wait, yes, he did have deer. Uh, Okay. Uh, chop Magnus for the temple. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <what> <laughs> Why you guys didn't swim up? Because uh, of Japan. En fait, ce qu'on voit, bah, dis-le pour en anglais. Yes, we we saw loyalty of Japan and we thought he was uh, very uh, dead because we have, can have two guys on the sea and one on the, on the land. Okay, so. but you you're not afraid to have. Uh... Khmer and, uh, we didn't and Ottoman in uh, Frisim. Uh, you were that much Frisim with that much mm. uh, space. But... Because we also had like Colombia in front line. Like for us, we was really surprised you didn't remap up there. Ouais, je pense que un peu with uh, with yeah. the yeah. Of information we had, I think. <laughs> like <laughs> Japan can still do what he did there. Go Samurai and Caravel, so... It's the best if to handle this kind of uh, situation. At the at the time uh, before the remap, we had the two uh, eagle warrior uh, next yeah. to Japan. Oh yeah, yeah. And one uh, one Oki, one war one other warrior. Uh, we think we, maybe we, we think invest so much into yeah. the <laughs> early game. Uh, GG à vous uh, les gens. GG. 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 Yeah. I'm. Vas-y, vas-y, vas vas Batoudou. Ouais, je, je suppose que ça a parlé avant du pourquoi pas de remap. Euh, oui, des on vient d'en parler à l'instant. Ouais, c'est ça, c'est ce que j'ai compris. Ouais, j'ai vu la mob départ, j'ai fait. Euh... Euh, c'est compliqué, c'est compliqué vraiment. Ça remap hein pas ça, ça va être très très dur. Nous, sur... <rire> Nous, on voit le Japon qui peut rester que sur deux villes. Ouais, enfin, mais on voit pas avec la possibilité de Shizuoka. Ouais. Alors, faut savoir que bon, quand je l'ai posé, il y a des petits pincements quoi. Ouais. <rire> ouais. Mais en fait, si, si t'en as que deux, rien que les galères, ça tirait encore plus et tout. Ouais, Attendez, mais, mais ils sont en train de perdre Ulysse là. J'ai pas vu. Si, ils sont en train de perdre contre CPS. Alors, moi j'avais une question pour, euh, pour Ashwin pourquoi tu vas pas raser Alors, je pense que c'était. Les... Tu pensais le surprendre un peu plus que ça, mais euh, pourquoi tu as pas rasé la B3 plutôt que la, la CAP qui avait plus de chances de survivre euh... Euh, je savais pas si ça passait, tu sais, avec le. Je voyais le, le, la case qui avait gros, mais je me dis, euh, si ça se trouve, elle est mal placée, il euh, n'y a qu'une case. Ah, ouais, dommage. Là, on aurait dû communiquer sur ça, en plus, je crois, avec lui, parce que avait... ma galère devait arriver deux tours plus tard. On aurait pu swap et peut-être le faire chier sur ça. Ouais, je, je, je pense que si tu attends la deuxième galère, il euh, y a moyen que tu surprennes et que tu tues euh, Shizuoka. Sincèrement, s'il n'y a pas Shuzuka avec la, le peu de science que donne la ville, 
I guess I'm going to stop it here because I'm pretty sure they want to talk with uh, the French caster and give him uh, the explanations in uh, French since this is a French, um, obviously two French teams matchup. I'm pretty sure that I'm very interested in uh, hearing uh, the opinions in French. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for, of course, uh, for the follows, for the support of the stream, for the subs, much PJ uh, search also for the gifts. Let's see each other in the next stream tomorrow, 1800 and uh, 1800, actually, GMT, COC, change of circumstance, uh, going for the first game against Easy Kantka. I do have to point out Easy Katka did recruit uh, two new members, Vasa Schlange and um, Trinda, Trinda Air coming up from... Um um, um uh, 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 chill bro team that was fighting in the wild card tournament and unfortunately didn't end up with that uh taking away the slot thing which is kind of bad but anyway I'm, I'm so sorry about that one uh try to get in a game soon i don't know i mean i want to get the stuff done and of course pay attention to the games here i would love to actually have um uh, also the opportunity to get some uh, games going of my uh, of my own but um well we gotta get the administration going rolling over here on the CWC. Um, have a good evening, everybody, and I'm gonna send you to uh, one of the streams over here. I heard the uh, Kacheka does need a little bit of support, so let's actually send you there. Shakun Porsoa versus Yulis coming up next. See you later. Bye bye bye, everybody. If you're coming up from YouTube, don't forget to leave a like uh, on the video if you enjoy the stream. And of course, uh, I do hope uh, you're going to uh, throw a comment down below. Uh, if you uh, do want to catch me live, uh, check me out on twitch.tv slash on TV. Bye, bye, bye.